Cool. All right. But not for you. <laughs> and that's why Josh killed our horses. <sighs> not my horses. I wasn't talking nothing about shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Yeah. We're going to begin this tale seeing a scene of the five of you approaching the town of Heaston Hill uh, in the Colorado or in the Wyoming territories. The heck my ping is like freaking out. You guys see that? Easing. Yeah. It's an El Cheapo pin. That's why. <laughs> Dude, my ping is going crazy. Hold on, I gotta reload my game and see if it fixes it. Anyways. Oh yeah, which one of you is gonna take notes? I can, because I already started writing down like a, a book of everything that I got okay so uh so is this is this player journal is that is that you yeah i can st hang on i can start that where's my journal there there's journal. a there's a document called player journal that someone added some stuff to in session zero i'm guessing Let's hey uh, yeah i think that was me that i started it is it I, I abandoned it pretty quick but <laughs> Is it the player's introduction at horror at Headstone Hill? Is no, what? no, it's it's in that same folder, but it says it's called Player Journal. Player Journal. Okay, I see it above. I just didn't know. Okay. Um, yeah. If, if you open up that one uh, and edit it, uh, edit okay, it. Session. Uh, edit. Name it. Yeah, you can you All can right, so copy like where it said one. session zero or whatever, and put session one in session there or whatever. One, you can. Yeah, you can do it however you want. Um. But yeah, all right, so you're taking notes for us. Um, Jamie, what's your character's name? Uh, uh, Jolene. You hear steal your man. Please don't steal my man. And Lindsay, yours is Nita, N-I-T-A? I'm Annabelle. Yeah, mine's Nita. Okay, Annabelle. Is that spelled A N N A B E L L E? Yeah, you should. I mean, yes. you should be able to see it on the. Uh, oh no, my pings. Just... Oh no. Okay, and... I can't oh, well. see it because. And you're just Jack. Why does it say Chris in here? Not oh, Chris. Hey. Because I just had done it. Done it. My pings are okay. <sighs> Jack. Okay. I don't know what mine. Is. Jeremiah Jack Calhoun. Jeremiah. So, um, but yeah, um, like I said, um, I, everyone, everyone has tokens on the, uh, on this, uh, map. So, uh, you can, you can see their names and everything there if you want. I gave you an extra Benny to start the session. Oh no. Oops. I accidentally just gave one to Have. Taking that back. Did Have get his extra one for doing the tokens? Oh, yeah, I was supposed to give him one, aren't I? There you go. <laughs> Dirty thief. <laughs> I didn't remember I said that. All right. I had your back. Remember that. Yep. Don't steal my horse. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's going to get him a shot, Mom. Okay. Let me know when you're ready, when you got the journal set up, the notes. I think I do. You good? Okay. So, uh, yeah. so we, we, we see a scene of, uh, the, this, this posse, these five characters making their way, arriving at, uh, at Heaston Hill in the Wyoming territory, my seizing ping, <laughs> but it's a uh, springtime, mid-May, 1884. Um, so it's not March 14th. Well, it is in a second. Um, okay. <laughs> but, uh, as we see, as we see this posse of characters who we haven't met, you know, together yet, uh, approaching Heaston Hill, uh, we're going to go into a sort of flashback a couple months earlier, March 14th, 1884. In... Choo -choo -choo. Oklahoma. Now, 
why you're all in Oklahoma. You'd have to tell me. But. You said a flashback a few months prior to March 18th, 1884. Yeah, you're in, you're in a, you're, we're back in, we're back in March. The last, the last snow of winter has fallen in Oklahoma. And, uh, I believe, um, Annabelle and Jolene, I believe are the only ones of you who have a pri like a, a, a pre-existing relationship before we start. Right. Am I right about that? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Um, So all your characters have heard of, possibly worked, well, not directly worked with, but you're all aware, you're all aware of the, the Twilight Legion, which is sort of a shadowy uh, group that uh, tries to help take care of um, the, the supernatural, um, the, the supernatural side of uh, of the of the West that not everyone knows about. Um, it's a sort of it's a, it, it's like a sort of a secret organization of monster hunters, but it's uh, not organ, organization is not necessary. It's not always the right word. Sometimes it's they they work really loosely, uh, but you know uh, sometimes more organized, but um, they. Um, uh, the the public face of the Twilight Legion that kind of everybody knows about is called the Explorer Society, um, which is like a gentle persons club dedicated to exploration and cataloging flora, fauna, customs, and people. Uh, and most members, the Explorer, the Explorer Society. Okay. Uh, most members of the Explorers Society are not members of the Twilight Legion. Um. But the the opposite is not true. Like most members of the Legion are uh, are explorers, um, but here in Oklahoma, the five of you separately have been, well, probably not separately for Jolene and Annabelle. You guys are probably sort of known to be a, a, a duo, um, but the, the five of you have been <clears throat> asked. To meet a, a contact um, named Mamie Elliot, and she invited you to meet her at a uh, at a saloon in a in a town in Oklahoma called the Dead Eye Saloon. Uh, she she signed uh, she signed her letter Lux in Tenebris, which is Latin for Light in Darkness, uh, and uh, all of you, for reasons I leave up to you, are aware that that is a uh, um, a sign. Like she's she's telling you, like she's a member of the Twilight Legion, and you uh, and you know what that means. Um, does it? Does anybody want to sort of volunteer why they know about the Twilight Legion? Like just talk it about not, it. Just, just tell me. Would it not be something that's spread throughout a saloon type environment yeah i mean there'd be rumors and everything right like okay. the one of the one of the most like prominent members of the twilight legion is a is a reporter um named lacey o'malley and he is um uh like the editor-in-chief of the the what's called the tombstone epitaph that uh um kind of talks about the supernatural stuff publicly uh in the in the paper and uh you know not everyone believes it's true and stuff but yeah i mean people people you know might maybe aware um that um that uh that the twilight legion is is a thing but it's not like i said the average person doesn't even know that like monsters are real necessarily some do some don't so um yeah i was just, just i'm just asking if anyone wants to Tell us, tell the tell the group a story about how they know about the Twilight Legion. Have you met some member of it before? Have you worked with them? Have you, uh, um, you know, done anything like that? If no one has an idea to volunteer, it can be something we sort of think about over time or not think about it. If you don't, 
if you're just like, yeah, I know about it, but that's all I want, you know, that's it, then that's fine too. Um, so my backstory does say that that my father owns saloon. Yeah, okay. I, I know I need to get that up to you. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, I, I read the, I read the part yeah. that you put on the okay. Google Drive. I, I haven't read. I don't think you sent me like a full background Not yet. or whatever, which I is am fine. On it. That's fine. Yeah, so, yeah, I'll read it so whenever you send it to me. But yeah, you mentioned if that. That's in the, the case. Google Drive. Then that's how I would know of this group that mentioned because, like I said. I, Meaning all kinds of people that come into this saloon. I've I've heard it all. But so you, you just heard sort of heard tales in the in the saloon and gossip and stuff about Twilight Legion hunting monsters and doing all that sort of stuff. From outside of the publication that this Lacey O'Malley puts out. Cool. Um. But yeah, so um. You know what? I need some more water. I need to go pester Jamie about coming back to the game. So, oh, there she is. But I do need to get some more water. So let's <laughs> let's just take five in case anyone else needs to. But I I just I need to grab some water and then before we get kicking off. Okay. Don't steal my horse. I thought you were still yours. Mm-hmm. Gotta watch you to make sure you don't steal my horse. Gotta watch Josh to make sure he doesn't kill my horse. I'll steal other people's, you know, outside the group's horses, no problem. But I mean, that's fine. I don't care about that. Steal other people's horses all you want. Just don't screw with the party. No, I'm not a, I'm not a problem player in that way. I guess I'll heal you if you need it then. No, I'm not going to guarantee that I don't accidentally get being shot because you know, shotgun when you crit miss. Oh. She's up there in melee, but hitting in some bystander. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Two, okay, so t there's two things. There's two things. I want to say before we play, thanks to all of you for um, playing playing this game, playing the game with me. I've been wanting to bring Savage Worlds and Deadlands to the table for a long time and haven't gotten a chance to. And uh, you know, I think I think most people 
you know, are, I mean, correctly think, you know, it's like harder to find someone to like GM a game than it is to find like players if you want to GM a game. But, you know, a lot of GMs have to like just play the lotto and find strangers online or whatever to play games with and stuff. And that's, you just don't never know what you're going to get. Um, so to actually have like uh, people I'm friends with and uh, like hanging out with, be, uh, you know, willing and excited to play games uh, with me is, uh, means a lot. So appreciate y'all. Um, I'm thrilled to have a game group again. I've been out of any games for a while. So, yeah, I remember last year, whenever I first was talking about doing a thing, um, you had mentioned you were in some D and D groups, but, uh, it sounds like that those are no longer alive. <laughs> yeah. They've kind of fizzled as games a little bit. Yeah. It's un- unfortunately the fate of, it's probably most groups, right? I mean, all of, I think all of us have probably had. More groups fall apart before they finish what they started than than finish what they started. We've uh, we're I doing... think uh, Abomination Vaults might be the only campaign I've ever played start to finish. Hmm. Hey, if... bruh, you ran a D and D five game from start to finish. You played in my D and D five game where I like homebrewed crap start to finish, and I GM thirteen. Well, we, both kinda, we both kind of cut those short though. My 13th age game didn't get cut short. That was long as fuck. We played like 70 oh, sessions. <laughs> we played like 70 sessions in that campaign. Yeah, that was a long um, time. But uh, no, I, I know what you mean. Like we're, it, It's been only the modern day that we've ever actually finished campaigns. Yeah. <laughs> All through our 20s and stuff, it was like they never actually went to completion. Um, oh, okay. So the other thing... Uh, this is like I'm still learning, and will still be learning Savage Worlds as we as we play as you as you all will as well. So like no stress ever about game mechanics. You know we'll learn we'll learn together. Don't worry about uh, and, and also like how to play stuff on Foundry because just like where to, which buttons to click and how to roll your dice and all that stuff is is new to uh, you know several of the people in this group. Um, and, and, and this is a new system even for us who have played in Foundry, so it's a lot of it's new still. Uh, and then the last thing I want to mention before we get started is something I didn't remember to do in um, session zero, which is to say um, we don't have to specifically talk about like lines and veils and things that uh, you don't want to have in the game. Um, I mean, I already know Lindsay already specifically mentioned uh so, uh, some some content but essentially uh since we're playing on video this this can work uh uh we're gonna do a sort of a uh when you're at a table they call it the x card because you can place a card down that has a big x on it so the gm can see it but we're gonna, we'll just do it with our fingers here so if at any point uh anyone gm or another player is uh describing a scene and they're describing something that is uh uh not content you want to hear uh for any reason doesn't matter what it is uh, boom! We're just gonna, you're just gonna get, you're gonna do an X right here on the camera, and uh, and we'll. So every time you attack me, I'm just gonna pop okay. that right up there. Okay, hey, this, but you know, you know what this is about, you bitch. <laughs> it's not, it's not a, <laughs> But if I was describing how your character got wounded in a really grisly way, that was not, uh, you know, something that uh, you're comfortable with. That's that's when we do that. You mean like being stung to death by a swarm of giant wasps? You know what? Better have your epipen. <laughs> yeah. medicine bag. Yeah, you just need an epipen. I can't pen. handle anything to do with eyes. If you start talking about eyes being poked at or anything, I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, feel free to tell me up front so we don't have to do it. But uh, yeah, you, that's not something you have to worry about with me because I'm I'm grossed out by like eye gore as well. Yeah, yeah. Let let the gore fly. I want to hear it. I don't know. I don't know many people who are like not, you know. When I was doing surgical tech, out. I had I I was holding the intestines. They're in one of the procedures in my hand, literally. So, oh wow, there you go. Mm-hmm. yeah. Jamie, Jamie's done like you know she's like observed like the, the autopsies and all that kind of stuff, and I'm just like, yeah, okay, I couldn't do any of that stuff. Yeah, she's oh, the video. Of, yeah, the smell of the body from from a river. If it's been if it's a floater, oh ooh, god, then things. Ooh. But like, there is no description of the smell. But yeah, there's gonna there. Uh, there's just certain things that you just won't be a content. You, I'm never, I'm never going to, I just like, for me personally, I'm never, I'm just never going to like want to have like uh, dis- described 
uh, child harm, for example. Yeah. We we in, when I play RPGs, we live in a magical world where children just don't get hurt. <laughs> that's a good point. And uh, so, just a heads up that. <laughs> I'm just, that's all what just if the child is a dick? Then. Then beat so, his ass then, instead then, of then they can get killing him. They can get grounded. Yeah. Roll a D20. Yeah, what if it's Joffrey Baratheon just shows up? <laughs> beat him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I I kill him. <laughs> We're going to make an exception. Yep, yep. He's, he's evil. That one kid. That one kid can die. Yeah. <laughs> just go ahead and let, let, let's, let's eliminate that, that gene pool right there. All right. So. On the way to the on the way to the Dead Eye Saloon, and remember, this is this is a flashback. This is this is before you guys have met, except for Jolene and uh, um, Annabelle. Who amongst you would arrive? Um, I guess we'll say early. I'm fashionably late, so if anybody, I'd probably just be in there gambling, playing cards, gambling, waiting, trying to make a little money while I'm there. Yeah. Get a table with our backs to the wall so that we're, you know, we can see the whole room, all the entrances. My character's probably just hanging back, scoping it out. She still has okay. amnesia, so she has no idea what's going on. So, uh, so if you want to, if you want to come over to like the card table. I, uh, I can't see anything, Josh. I know. Um, well, you put that ping there, Josh. is gonna give me a fucking seizure while I'm looking at my character. Like, <laughs> <it's bad. laughs> I'm gonna. Tr I'm trying to uh, uh, see if I can fix. Is that the top view of the saloon? Yeah, we we see the roof. Come yeah, in. it looks like a, a a window that shows. Something inside? Is that a table? One second. It's the better roofs module, so you're seeing what it looks like from the outside. If you bring your character in, you'll see the inside. So if this was Where like is my character? the door, sir. So uh, yeah, I um in here. Yeah, I'm actually surprised you guys even see anything. So this would be what it looks like if there was like a drone. <laughs> okay. I see a trough where waters can drink. Horses, water can drink. Maybe I need to stop drinking. I know. Maybe I need to stop drinking. This is not water, by the way. It's been one of those days. I hear you. I'm gonna have one of those days tomorrow. Oh, bless your heart. I know what it is today. It's just the worst. It's dealing with kids any day like that is. That's what I have this for. Oh. <laughs> What's in that? What's in that? Hmm? Um, a compound called HHC, which is very similar to THC. So my husband is downstairs trimming what we've grown lately. Manscaping? Some tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. He has been down there for two nights now just doing that. Okay. Just doing that. I've like, got a few yeah. edibles, uh, but they just make me tired. So yeah. tomorrow I've got a got an early morning meeting with my evaluator for the year, and then I've got three hours of parent teacher conferences afterwards. Oh, uh, is this evaluation so like a work performance? It's the it's the meeting that comes before the work performances. It's the meeting that... to to discuss strengths and weaknesses and what we need to improve and what we're good at. And I just want to say, listen, bitch, I've been doing this seventeen years. If you don't like if you don't like what I'm doing, fuck you, tell me I'll find another school. So but, one weakness is non-disciplinary actions from the parents at home. Well, I can't control those. I know. I know. Right. It seems like that that's that's a lot of the problems that I'm seeing. It's like kids are just allowed to get away with the, the Oh yeah, they don't there's 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 there very little parenting going on. No, I can understand that if you're a single parent and you have to work to support your kids. I, I was there at one point with two kids as a single mother, no support from the father. So I can see that. As being, you know, but if you got two the parents, problem's not you know, that. I mean, the, here's the thing: if you give a shit about your kid's education, they will give a shit about their education. 
Good point. Um, you know. What was I given a new Benny for? What did I do? Show up late? Note-taking. For for volunteer to take notes. Oh, I was saying, show up late, I can do that. You're a note taker. Ah. Okay. Is there a reason why I'm seeing two uh, copies of my token? Um, I don't know. Um, You're special. Where the well, yeah. I may have... shit did that just go? Did all my information for this player sheet just go away? Uh, if, yeah, if you didn't save and he reloaded, then yes. God bless it. Sorry, <laughs> uh, right. I'll try to. Yeah, you want you want to make sure you save frequently because anytime you change this thing that causes us to reload, like he did a few minutes ago, uh, you'll lose it and it's not saved okay. on the journals. Okay. Save early, save often. Okay, right, well, turning off and on the pings did not fix my pings glitching out like crazy, so I'm just gonna have to try not to ping, I guess. <laughs> Because, okay, I don't know what this the dealio is. You said, oh yeah, uh, yeah, you were, you were in there playing cards with Jack as well as outdoors. Um, I don't see anybody in here with me. So Annabelle, and I see nothing. I only see me in there. I see me outside. I see none of the NPCs in here. I see none of the players. It's just my token in the corner. I'm outside. About now, yeah, right? I'm outside. I still don't see anybody. The trough. Yeah, I don't see anyone. Just me. Did you actually accidentally take away my token vision or something? Let's see, has no. vision? No. Okay. No. Um. Let's try this. Now I see light. Oh, that's people. much better. I see Jack now. I don't see his now name. I see though. people. Oh no, wait! I see Jack. I, oh, there's somebody else in there. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah, I had to turn on. Like... I had to turn on unrestricted vision range because this system doesn't do like vision already. So your characters had no vision, mm -hmm. and I I don't want to set it up to where you can only see X amount of inches or whatever. I, I like unrestricted. I mean, besides walls, right? I can um, only only see about two to three inches, but what? <laughs> Just move on. He's making a dumb joke, bitch. Um, all right, so Jack Jack was playing cards. The the only NPCs you see in here uh, is like a an old bartender, and uh, there's uh, there's a uh, what looks like a some sort of lawman uh, sitting sort of close to the door, uh, and then uh, and then you you see a woman in a cowboy hat, and uh, she waits until. She waits until um, at least a few of you are inside. So Annabelle, Jolene, and Jack are all inside now, and uh, and she gestures for you to come sit with her over here. We're not pinging it. There's a lady in a cowboy hat. <laughs> pretend up, pretend I pinged that. I was kind of looking at Annabelle and just nod and start to walk over. Just sit. Boom, boom, boom. I have to have a drink and put down a scatter and I just put my hat. And Annabelle looks especially nervous because she's never been involved in anything clandestine or anything like that. So. Do I go, let's see, do I go in? Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, like the yeah the front doors are like over here. Oh no, I ping. Yes. My pings. Okay. And uh, Nita is a sort of hanging outside, just observing things, uh, watching things. Uh, but uh, I mean, once she sees a bunch of other people go inside, like does she does she make her way inside? Erica. You're still muted, Erica. Sorry. Yeah, she'll go inside um, at that point. Okay. So, uh, 
Just pretend you all are, uh, you know, sitting around a table with this dark-haired woman with the cowboy hat on. And, uh, she says, uh, well, thank you all for coming. I, uh, assume you know wh why I invited you here, or at least what about my affiliation. Uh, so, uh, got some idea. She's, uh, she's like, uh, she's like, you know, drinking some whiskey and she says, uh, anyone want me to order you a drink before, uh, before we get to the talking? I would love one. She sort of looks around for anybody who, you know, said so. I uh, yeah, I don't... Glass down in front of her. And she, uh, I have some water. Sure then, and she, uh, she, uh, she gestures for the the bartender, and he kind of makes his way over to uh, to this side of the bar, and uh, uh, she just she just calls out to him, uh, you know, asks him to bring some water and some more drinks, and uh, to, you know, uh, while waiting on the while waiting on the drinks, she uh, she says, well, y'all came here, um, without knowing you know who I am, on a personal level, so uh, that it leads me to believe. You know, my uh, affiliation with the Legion uh, prompted you to come, which means you're the kind of people I'm looking for, and I thought you were. Um, and uh, he brings <coughs> he brings the drinks over. The bartender does, and then uh, steps away. And uh, he says, uh, "I'm gonna get right to it. All of you, for various reasons, I think uh, you know can be an asset to the." to the Legion. Uh, I know that you all know the things we know are real. And, uh, well, yeah, we got a job. What needs doing? There's a, uh, a town down in, uh, down south in Texas, north of, uh, north of Dallas called Willow's Peak. And, uh, there, there's a group of outlaws led by a woman named Philomena Howlett. And, uh, we wouldn't be bothered by some regular old outlaws trying to pull some robberies or whatever. But, uh, well, these particular outlaws, we've been told, have captured a pack of dread wolves. And, uh, well, if you're not familiar, let me tell you, they are right dreadful. And, uh, would we know what dread wolves are? Uh, you can make a common knowledge check or like any, another kind of knowledge check. If you have one that you feel might be more relevant, you can, you can tell me, <laughs> um, would okay. science, uh, I don't think, I don't think science would be the, be the okay. deal here. Cause they're, they're, you know, they're just like a supernatural thing. I what reckon about, I know wolves are bad and dread wolves sound worse. What about um, the ones that have research under us? The research skill? Yeah, you could roll yeah. that to see if you've sort of like oh, um, yes. read about them in a, in a in a book or a issue of the, uh, you know, tombstone epitaph or some some such. All right. So forgive me. Walk me through this. Let's see. Yeah. It's our Where's first. My... It's our first. Where is my dice? first rolls of uh of the game um okay so so what you're gonna do is on your character sheet for this you're just gonna go down to the research skill and you're just gonna click like where the d6 is okay and oh just once just once Oh, just, I don't see it, so I apologize. So, no, 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 it, it, it hasn't rolled yet because I'm using oh. a, I'm using a thing that spits it out to the chat, and then we do the roll. So, like, we don't need to like. You see how there's like these drop downs for like illumination or multi action. That's so we can apply various different like penalties and such. Um, uh, but uh, go go ahead and just click the roll button, uh, and okay. it's gonna roll. It's gonna roll. Your D6. So I click the. Hang on. I click the dice, right? No, no. You, you, you already, you already sent the chat card over there to the chat. So 
you're just going to click the roll button that's on the card in the chat. So it's uh, over, Hang on, let me... uh, over here's okay, the chat. Is Sorry. It... Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. Uh, uh, roll. Okay. Yeah, you're just going to click that roll button. And you critically failed that roll. <laughs> you rolled a one on both your research die and your wild die. Um, so, uh, that's not a good way to so, start. That's the start of the game. Cool. So, uh, critical failing already. Okay. So, so you, you think like you, you must have read something about what a dread wolf is that was just completely untrue. Um, I think, I think you, um, I think, I, I think you, I think you read that, uh, that they, um, they have eight legs. So, so maybe does beans like be like, oh yeah, I know about dread wolves, you know, those eight legged things or something like that. It would, you know, sounds super smart. There's a, so, that, so that's what you think. Was anybody else trying to roll to see if they knew anything about him? Like was Annabelle? Going um, to, uh... I was thinking of common knowledge. knowledge. Yeah, might as well. Wow. What have you done here, Josh? <laughs> bad. I Damn don't right. So they've bad. got they got they got eight legs and they'll breathe fire. I don't feel yeah. See that's what I heard. <laughs> How'd I do? I got a four. Joel, uh, you guys did better than me and Abe. <laughs> I, I uh don't I don't think you actually rolled yet, Annabelle. Wait, what? Jolene got no. a success. Okay. Jo Jolene got a success and uh Annabelle got a success. You both rolled a four, which is like the default test number. Um, and, uh, Nita, uh, okay. So Nita doesn't, Nita has, has not heard of Dreadwolves, but did not like critically fail to roll. Like, uh, um, <laughs> like beans and Jack did. Um, Hey Josh. Life. Yes. Quick question. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a, a free reroll button next to my rolls. What does that mean? That's there to use. If you have a free reroll from an edge or something. Like I, and I assume that I don't then. No, no, no. There's, there's a okay. lot, there's a lot of edges like, um, like Nita has the, um, the fetish edge for the, uh, faith spell casting where they get, a, she gets a free reroll anytime she rolls that. And, uh, there's a okay. lot of edges like that. There's like, there's like an edge for persuasion where you always get a re free reroll on persuasion checks, for example, like, um, there's a lot of edges that do that. And that's what that button is for. But like, yeah, by default, you know, nothing's free. Now that being okay. said, that being said, the other button that says reroll with Benny that's next to that one, that's the mm -hmm. one you use when you want to spend a Benny and reroll. Um, okay. But you also cannot spend a Benny and reroll a critical failure. Uh, you're just stuck with it. So, um, um, but yeah, so, um, uh, so Jack and beans, I don't know how exactly how much they say, but like they, uh, they, I think I heard Jack say that he, they breathe fire and have eight legs and, uh, Annabelle and Jolene both know that not to be true. Um, yeah, that, we're both just kind of looking at each other, just like, are you, are you getting this? Because so, I'm. Uh, that doesn't sound right. Okay, I so read getting, a lot, and that doesn't sound right. So getting the, I, I think, the stairs. I think, that, I think the beans back there has had a. Have you said your name yet? To the group, would I even know beans? No, no, no nobody's I, introduced themselves. I would look back and say, I, I think that. That woman back there has had a little more drink already. Uh, I, they're nasty critters. Um, me and Annabelle. Are... So, jo so Jolene and Annabelle know that dread wolves are. Um, um, they're sometimes called blood wolves or banshee wolves. Uh, they look a lot like regular wolves, except they constantly drool bloody saliva that coats their fur, fur and gore. And they have blood red eyes. Um, and they have eight legs, and they breathe fire. They are they are usually <laughs> no sir. They ba they basically have like an unnatural form of rabies um, from consuming some sort of supernatural corpse. Like regular wolves will consume some sort of supernatural corpse, and they will get, be corrupted into dread wolves. Um, um, so, but yeah, but they just have four legs. They're just like regular wolves with red eyes and constantly drool blood and are like scary looking. Rabid. Maybe the dread wolves you saw, the ones I saw had eight legs. Pretty fire. I think that man was drinking a little too much when he saw them. 
Jack, were, were they maybe copulating at the time? Is that why you saw eight legs? I, I don't really watch wolves sucking, man. I, 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 uh... Is that a fetish for Nita? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> oh. I'm joking. They really need to rename that edge. Oh, no, we're going to use that word quite a bit for you. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go. Does, we're, does Joe know about your finishes? We're gonna the we're, fornicating. <laughs> we're gonna go to that. We're gonna go to that well a lot. Let's get back on. It's low hanging fruit. Topic here. What? What do you? What do you want us to do? You want them dead? What you want? Well, you see, Philomena Howlett. Uh, sounds like she and her outlaws are planning to try to tame these dread wolves which is probably not possible anyway but uh whether or not it is they're they're a danger and those wolves uh need to be put down um she probably so, wants I'm to sorry. use them to make it easier to rob the good people of texas but uh so we're not she said she happen. wanted to tame them uh the 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 leader of those outlaws philomena howlett the the talk is the talk is that she wants to you know, tame these wolves well enough she can use them to uh, help intimidate those people that her, she and her outlaws are robbing. But uh, I mean, if you want them dead, just wait. The wolves will try to kill them pretty good when they try to tame them. Well, we, I don't care about whether or not Howlett and her outlaws are dead. We need the wolves dead. Ah. Those uh, servants of the Reckoners and... Uh, can't have them just walking around. Uh, I ain't a joiner, but I like money. Yep, of course there's paying it for you. $500. Five, 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 each? <laughs> not, not each. You're uh, Jolene, right? We should we should introduce uh, introduce ourselves. I, uh, you know, in my letter said, but I'm, I'm Mamie Elliott. And uh, you are, and she sort of puts her hand towards Jolene. Jolene Bell. And she she sort of just goes around like to Annabelle and then to Jack the Bean Sanita. So Annabelle. Yeah, I'm Annabelle. Jack Calhoun, gambler, sharpshooter extraordinaire. I'm um, Bean Bennett. Oh, sorry. No, she didn't talk a lot. She just says, Nita. I'm Beans Bennett. Okay, well. Well, if you all are going to do this job, you, uh, you know, we probably want to get to know each other well enough to make sure you can have each other's backs. There's uh, These these dread wolves are no trifling matter. Uh, but, uh, you know, there will be more work uh, for you in the future. Uh, you know, more good tips about uh, stuff needs investigating if, uh, you, you know, do do this for us. Um, he says, look, uh, I need you to travel down to Willow's Peak. Uh, it's just south along the Chisholm Trail. If you make it all the way to Dallas, you've gone too far. But uh, you probably can't miss it. Uh, and uh, she says, uh, she says that that fell over there, and she points she points at this man who's been like kind of sitting by the door, just nursing a drink. He's got a rifle sitting next to him. She said that's uh that's Gus Rivers. He's a uh, he's an Oklahoma Ranger, uh, and uh, a friend of the Legion. Uh, he's offered to uh, escort you down the trail uh, if you want. Law well, man, huh? I mean, I don't particularly need the company, I don't think, but uh, I'll leave it to these women ladies here. Kind of make a gentle fade. I can't see it here because it's so somebody that doesn't like it. If anyone knows. You're cutting in and out pretty bad. You're cutting out. Hello. Yeah, you just had your mic too far away from your mouth. Um, anyone that could have seen my face would notice that it kind of bothered me when he acted like, you know, said what he did about the women and the ladies um i didn't take too kindly to that but i just kind of shrug it off and then well is he going to be uh taking some of that 500 
if he goes with us? Oh no, uh, no. Uh, if you if you want him to, if you want August to escort you, it's just uh, you know that's that's he. Like I said, he's an Oklahoma Ranger, so he's going to be patrolling up and down the Chisholm Trail down to the Texas border and back anyways. So uh, just a matter of uh, if you want the extra company. Mm -hmm. Some people uh, don't really love, you know, spending time with the oh. law. But uh, Gus is a good guy. If you know, Like I said, it's up, up, up to you. So I, I have a question. Sure. So if you already have an Oklahoma Ranger that is willing to escort people down... Why not just get a group of Oklahoma Rangers to do your task? You said, well, first of all, you see how old Gus is? She says, she said, her voice gets a little quieter. She says, uh, he's not, he, he's not the one that's going to be able to take care of this, this problem. Uh, but the, uh, the, the Oklahoma territorial Rangers don't have jurisdiction in Texas where you're going. And, uh, while we have, while we, the Legion, has a have friends in the in the Texas Rangers, certainly, um, they got a lot on their they got a lot on their own plate, still dealing with the fallout from a uh, tombstone. There's this, there's this, this is a what do you call it, a sort of low level job. So uh, trying to just just uh, Hiring out those who uh, might might become friends of the Twilight Legion is uh, more more uh, the the jurisdiction of something like this. The uh, the Texas Rangers are not going to want to get involved in this if they don't have to. Yeah, watch them Texas Rangers. Yeah, their eyes are always on you. Anything you do, they're going to see. Well, I reckon we ought to let old Gus come with us, you know, because wouldn't want. Us four females to be without an escort. Would we? Yeah, Lord forbid. And I put that down for drink and sit it down. I didn't say you needed an escort. I just said I'd let you decide. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no issues with my hair, and you don't got to repeat yourself. Mamie Elliot kind of like smirks and looks at Jack like, mm, You're going to piss off these women? So, well, I can't uh, say much about the rest of you, but I think 500 is a little too low for you asking us. And, and I'm going to ask Jolene and Annabelle, when you guys know that obviously they're not eight-legged and breathe fire, what is a pack consist of? How many are in a pack? Good question, Josh. They're, That's a very um, good question. So they they just they just act like a wolf pack. So like it, however many were in the pack before they be ate large. some supernatural corpse. Yeah. So there's not it's not like a set number. Uh, it could be, you know, a half dozen. It could be twenty. Can I ask Philomene if she knows from her sources how many do they say is in this pack that's being held? So this this is this is Mamie Elliot, the Twilight Legion contact. Phil, Philomena is the uh, the outlaw, the leader of the outlaws down in. All right, I got uh, that wrong. So who, who is this person? Mamie. Her, her name is uh, Mamie Elliot. Spell that for me. Missy Elliot. I I put it in the chat. Make it easier for you. So Mamie Elliot is the Twilight Legion contact, and Philomena Howard is. She was way the, off at that damn name. <laughs> I was spelling it with a P. P H. Yeah, same. <laughs> um, but uh, okay. So um, she says, "Well, I mean, I remember that uh, you're not just getting paid five hundred in gold mint. You're uh, you're getting uh, you're making friends in the Twilight Legion." Like that's going to lead to uh, more work. And uh, from what I understand about all y'all, you know, you're the type that are interested in investigating these supernatural things. Um, but Beans, uh, roll, uh, roll me a persuasion to see if you can convince her to uh, to increase. Okay, the, hang it. Do I click on the the thing by me by my persuasion, right? Yeah, the little four sided die there next to your persuasion. All right, hang on. God, and, uh, let's not make it a one. Hang on. Oh, exploded. Yeah. Exploded the four. Gotcha. Jeez. So what do I know? 
<laughs> by the way, you can um, dun, 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 you can uh, set up in the in the dice so nice thing. You can set up um, special effects that go off when you roll like the max number on a die. So like here you'll see i got i got like a little fire effect whenever i roll like a four six eight ten twelve because like they're gonna explode i just think it's fun so you'll see Excuse like if you see any of my oh because like, uh I just, I just think it's fun because you because you exploded uh the four on your skill die there and you rolled it, re -rolled it make it up one for the critical fail so, All it's, right. uh, so you got a five which is a success and uh she says look all right you're uh persuasive enough and uh well we got a little bit we got a little bit more money in the budget uh we'll make a 750 and uh, how does everybody else feel about that what about me sounds sounds good i think that's uh can we fair. can we keep any of their ill-gotten goods that we find at their camp Looting. She says. Uh, loot. She says. All the legion cares about is that you put down those dread wolves. Uh, now, what kind of evidence do you want that we put these down? You do. You Are do you whatever. Like souvenirs. She says you do, you do whatever uh, you need to with the outlaws. Or avoid them. Um. Ooh, what what would she ask you to bring back? Well, I'll just bring back the head of the pack leader. I was gonna say if uh, Gus back there doesn't uh, kill over, he could just see it and tell you. Yeah, fair enough. But wouldn't it wouldn't it, wouldn't it be exciting to just take a trophy of the pack leader's head though? I kind of do an evil grin and uh, look down at my gun, and then. Uh, I'm not much for trophies, but sure. All right, then. Uh, she says. Uh, she sort of puts her hand up and uh, waves for uh, <clears throat> Gus to come back, come over. He says. Uh, so, uh, y'all want me to uh, escort you down the Chisholm Trail, huh? I'm Gus Rivers, by the way. He kind of, he kind of walks like. He almost, he almost, he's holding it by the barrel and almost kind of uses his rifle like a, like a cane and help him walk. He's oh, getting up God. there in the ears. <laughs> yeah, I show worry and concern on my face. I'm like, <laughs> are we going to have to protect him? Yeah. <laughs> say, we get him he, an El Cheapo horse. He, he's an, esc <laughs> he's an escort, man. This, we got an a, El Cheapo he's ranger. A, he's not even a wild card. All right. <laughs> he says, well, uh, I want to. Get the horses ready and hit the trail then. And uh he says, Mamie. And he tips his cap. And uh and then we will uh we'll take off. Boom, we'll we'll head down the trail. We're gonna come back over here for now. All right, so this was all months prior, and now we're heading back to now time. No, we're still flashbacked, I think. Yeah, no, no, we're 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 actually gonna we're actually gonna play through you guys doing this job before we go back to present day and like kick off the horror at Headstone Hill. Yeah, gotcha. And the reason I wanted to do it that way is because I wanted you guys to all know each other when we start the the thing that Heaston Hill um I wanted your characters to have time to get to know each other um but also the uh Heaston Hill um plot point campaign suggested that I start everyone's character at seasoned rank uh which is like four advances and I did not want to overwhelm anyone who's new to Savage Worlds and stuff and be like hey advance your character four times pick edges do this do that so I was like you know what let's ease in with a little prelude adventure also it was a little bit like self-serving because deadlands has these really cool adventure generation 
tables you can use that help you like seed ideas for stuff and that's kind of how i came up with what we're doing and uh i just love i love generation tables like when my rp if i have an, if you give me an rpg with like a big table where you can roll on it and it gives you ideas for stuff to put in the game i'm like that's me man i love it so much um gotcha so um it's gonna be about it's gonna be five days travel to get to uh to get to where uh where we're going so the the uh let me see let's let's do this uh, let's do this one maybe um so um you begin travel down the uh the Chisholm trail let me i got to get a uh, i get my boy Gus Rivers he's with us and this uh yeah this 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 red uh trail that's the Chisholm trail damn it my pings you just had the ping didn't you <laughs> that el cheapo ping mm. all right and uh so so savage worlds savage worlds has these things called interludes where um we draw a card and uh we we learn something about we kind of we kind of learn something about what happened on a journey or a piece of backstory or like a piece of downtime so we're gonna for this first one we do we're gonna do uh we're gonna do a trek so like one of you is gonna sort of tell us the story of something that you encountered like in the first two days of this uh journey and uh Uh, I, I would like a volunteer if anybody wants to sort of tell a little story like that. You're going to have a prompt, but it, it is sort of improvisational. So if you if you want to, uh, otherwise I'm going to roll a die and determine who's who I'm going to ask. Okay. I don't want to be an ass kisser because I've I've volunteered enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, Josh loves having his ass kissed though. <laughs> here's 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 the thing beans if uh if i ask something like that and you're like oh i want to do it and nobody else like volunteers just say like me because nobody else is gonna no, there's no there's no ass kissing if you if you think it would be fun to do you, you should volunteer so is that is that you saying you'd like to volunteer i mean if if nobody else wants to hey, no, i mean i'm no, always up to nobody else said so and uh ever, everyone's gonna get on, people <laughs> everyone's gonna get opportunities to do uh such things so, all right. So, what what we do here? What we do here is I'm gonna deal you. Oh, actually, I should I should show you guys how to get to uh, card hands, in case uh, in case I ask you to uh, do do such a thing. Um, so. Would you uh, pick that little player card card stacks? Yeah, yeah, card card stacks, and then you all okay. should you all should have um, a hand there, um, and I won't have any cards in it yet. Uh, but it's going to in a second because I'm getting ready to deal one to uh I'm getting ready to uh, should we be able to see other people's hands? Uh yes. Yeah, okay. because because one one of the things that I may use is like a thing where you get cards where you can do fun stuff with them, but you can trade them with other people too. So that that's why that's that's a thing. Okay. Um So Jamie D's adventure hand, random card. Oh, all right. So Jamie D, I, uh, you should have gotten a card in your hand, did did you? Hey, let me reopen it. I don't see nothing in this. You did it to Haves, it looks like. Yeah, you gave it. To oh me. yeah, I've got some on my hand. All right, Have. <laughs> okay. Tell <the> story. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, <laughs> You're some up. Nine of spades. You're up. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I mean, no, no, we'll just we'll use that card, but it's it was, I just gave it to the wrong person. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, will you say nine of spades? Yeah. Okay, so uh, spades, uh, trek. Okay, so you're going to uh, you're going to tell us about a difficult obstacle that the posse and Gus Rivers negotiated along the way uh, in the first. Uh, on either the first or the second day down the trail. 
Okay, say that again. A difficult store uh, I put, task. I I put it in the, I put it in the chat for you, but it's a Dang. it's a a difficult obstacle that the obstacle. group negotiated along the way. In the chat oh. here. Uh, okay. Um. Let's see. Okay. Um, I'm telling everybody, even Gus, right? This is all, or am I just telling the posse? This, this is um. This is like more of a player knowledge thing than a character knowledge thing, right? So you're you're okay. telling us a story of something that happened. So like your characters would know it happened because it happened to them, mm -hmm. but we're learning about it as players. So it's okay. So it's not like you're telling it in the first person and sit from beans. You're telling us it's it's Jamie D telling us what this obstacle was and how you negotiated it. Okay. A little so bit of montage. Yeah. yeah so exactly. Uh, so I would say that, you know, when you mentioned it in the bar that she wants them dead, but we've heard rumors that they want to capture them. So one of the things that Gus said that we should do is we should try to capture one and bring back as a souvenir instead of the head of the pack. Or bring the pack leader back instead of his head alive. Would that be good? Um, so, um, so, uh, so what, what, what's the, what's the obstacle that you overcame here? To capture the pack leader instead of kill him. Because, you know, to me, to me thinking, you know, a pack is, there's going to be a leader protecting it, even though I don't know anything that they've got eight legs in the brief either or whatever. Um, that the pack is going to protect the leader. And so we're going to have to face all of them to get to the leader. So the difficult obstacle is to get through them, to get that leader, to capture him alive. I don't know if this is the correct. Oh, okay. So, um, so, um, I, so let's, let's frame it this way. Uh, I think, uh, so, so, you know, t typically I think with something like this, like, um, someone is going to describe like a, an obstacle you ran into on the road or whatever that you had to overcome. But th this, this feels to me more like a social type thing. So, um, what I, what I, what I, what I think is like, um, you beans and Gus rivers are talking like, as you, you're, you're sort of like riding your houses, horses down the trail and beans and, and Gus are, uh, talking about, um, yeah, why don't we just like capture this pack leader and bring it back instead of, instead of killing it and taking its head or whatever. Um, and someone in the posse that isn't beans or Gus, I think thinks that's a terrible idea. Uh, and you have your first sort of like posse based disagreement. So will will someone volunteer to be the person who thought trying to capture this dread wolf pack leader? I'm very is hesitant. An awful idea? Okay. So, <laughs> So yeah, so, so so how did that play? How did that play out then? Oh my I God, just I, I, I don't I don't think that's a good idea. That's just I don't know. I just that feels really dangerous to me. So I'm gonna be, you know, uh, optimistic and said, yeah. But if 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 we can get close enough to kill him, we can get close enough to capture him. And maybe maybe we can use that as a as a bargaining tool to possibly get more reward because they're wanting it dead but if we bring it back alive maybe yeah, we it, can negotiate for it, more money if you bring it back alive the next bounty may be on you true that but by who <laughs> if we kill all the outlaws by who who's well, gonna know maybe she maybe just tell us to go kill the outlaws because they have the dread to go kill the dread wolves i don't right? think we're supposed to kill the outlaws i think we just need to kill the wolves she said right. she didn't hear what we did with them. So with the to me, right, right. And 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 do I ask Gus why he suggests this what? instead of? Oh, so you're saying with... you're saying it was his idea? It wasn't Beans' idea? Right. Uh, well, because to me, it sounded like you meant that he was describing a difficult obstacle for us to negotiate along the way. 
So if he's working with the Twilight Zone, he's negotiating this with us to do this instead of what we were originally told. Oh, no, no. So so Gus Gus didn't have anything to do with like this prompt I gave you about the obstacle and stuff. Unless you unless you make unless you make him part of it, like it's just it's sort of an improvisational prompt for you to just kind of. But to me, he's part of it if he's the one supposed to be leading us, right? Am I thinking too much into this? Well, what what I mean is, you JBD are the one who came up with the idea to like keep the wolf alive. Difficult. Okay. Um, I just I just sort of tried to frame what you described into an obstacle, as in like a social conflict. Um, Okay, so then I will suggest. But yeah, Gus. Yeah, but Gus, but Gus does agree with Beans. He's like, yeah, if you keep the thing alive, maybe uh, I don't know, maybe the maybe somebody in the Oklahoma Rangers uh, higher up the chain, maybe they'd want to like I don't know, do try to do some research on it, figure out why these things turn the way they do. He's he he's he, he's got a little bit of a crazy old man vibe though. Just FYI. <laughs> I got I got a qualm with this. Uh, I I got no issue with it if that's what you want to do. But here's my thing: How the hell are we gonna get it back? What That's if it breaks free way. and eats us? Oh, it, it, Nita, I don't want to do be you, eaten. Do you not I don't have want to be eaten. some kind of medicine that can can make it sleep while we we bring it back? Doze it all? I don't. I don't. So, if we can capture to to help our people understand it, we could we could be better prepared to fight it. I can't condone testing on it. And it, okay. Gus says even a even a supernaturally corrupted one. Nope. Says, when your dog gets hydrophobia, you put the dog down. This is even worse. He says. Gus, Gus says. You know, uh, Mamie did say this thing is kind of like a uh, s- supernatural rabies type of thing. And uh, I've been in, I've been around some rabid dogs in my days, and uh, well, wolves are a lot bigger than dogs. And uh, if it's like if it's like any of the rabid dogs I've been around, uh, I don't think we're gonna be capturing the thing. So uh, maybe uh, maybe this, maybe the, maybe the rest of them them are right beans. Maybe that's not such a great idea. I don't know. I'm just here to I'm just here to <clears throat> escort you down the trail. You don't even, you don't need to listen to old Gus's ideas. I ain't trying to shit on nothing. If we can do it, I don't care. But so even so, even if it's not a leader, if it if it's the weakest of the pack, the runt, would that make everybody feel more comfortable? You volunteering to be the one in charge of it? So I'm not going near it. As long as we got a safe way to transport it, I don't give a shit. I just want my 700 gold or whatever. Wow. Can we see how the outlaws are hiding them and see if we can use that to transport it? I would say that is a wonderful suggestion, sweet thing. I think we might forfeit our reward if they see us bringing it back alive. Our purpose is to kill it. And if it gets loose while we're bringing it back and kills some family, we'll be responsible. We guys are not making this decision easy. I mean, it feels like a very easy decision to me. Just kill it. And... <laughs> More balls than brains. I think the put the down is the better choice. Well, I just feel like an asshole now, but <laughs> uh, no, 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 it's, cool. it's good. Like, like I said, this is this this whole journey and and whatnot and stuff. Is about uh, uh, seeing how you guys all met each other and what the social dynamic amongst you is and everything like that. So it's a it, no, it's good stuff. You've all got you- a lot more guts than I do, Beans. I'm just thinking, you know, from from being in a saloon, being raised, I've heard so many stories. So to me, it's just like we we know so little about these supernatural creatures, and to to, to possibly catch one alive to study it. And to possibly, maybe even develop a cure, uh, you know, for these things, just seems like why do we have to just kill them? Can't we learn from them and understand them? So, so, so Jack, Jack knows better than uh, anyone in in this posse for sure. What uh, the what sort of the power of the reckoners and. It's that, that, that how, like how much of a joke it is to think that you could like cure the supernatural sickness that makes a dread wolf, like because of the, 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 just how, just how powerful the reckoners are and their influence on the world. Um, 
So I, I don't know if he, uh, you know, says anything about that, but he, he definitely, he doesn't want his secret. Yeah. So yeah, he definitely, he think, definitely understands, uh, like, yeah, that's, that's um, crazy. Talk I think it's, I think it's a fool's errand. I think it's, you know, it's got your guts, but it may end up with your guts fell over the ground. All right. So make a note. After my idea, everybody's shitting on my dreams. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> everybody's shitting on my idea. No. We, we just don't want you walking around holding your intestines because you got gutted. It might not be me. You come up with a deal with the <laughs> well, idea. It's not going to get me killed. <laughs> not going to be me. But I, I, I understand, but it was just something I threw out there. So do I need to come up with another obstacle? No, 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 no. The 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 okay. the, 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 ob- the obstacle here was just it 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 was the the social conflict that arose amongst the group because of the disagreement about the idea. You you know you did you did great. This is great. And then now and then now we move on to the next thing. So that um so yeah, the first or second day of the journey um uh you, you guys kind of have have that discussion, you know, amongst <laughs> you know just all the Push. other regular sort of uh talking and, and everything uh does does anyone have any sort of like um notable behaviors habits anything like that that you want to mention that your character might um you know exhibit uh while traveling with these new mostly new uh um traveling partners like because you know you're, you're traveling you're stopping to water your horses you're stopping to rest and eat and uh you know you got to make camp for the night you're doing all this stuff so is there is there anything notable anyone wants to mention about you know how their character acts amongst the posse uh, i mean i think I mean, you might no, have noticed that jack has an un- unhealthy cigar habit and avoids gus as much as he can do you have a what have unhealthy cigar habit too many cigars I think everyone would notice when we stop or, uh, you know, we're not doing anything horse riding and stuff. My character is very, like, cleans her gun obsessively and always has a hand on it. You know, is always checking for it. Like, uh, it, it's just obvious that that gun is special to her. And I'm Annabelle's protective oh. of Annabelle. And Annabelle is very anxious, and so... Like, she does contribute to, like, group conversations, but she doesn't go out of her way to, like, get to know new people on her own. She doesn't really take that initiative. So she tends to stick with Jolene. So, you know, we've we've traveled together a little bit. We feel comfortable around each other. But new people, I'm still a little anxious and, and wary of everybody else. Okay. I think Anita's the same way. She's she'll contribute to the conversation, but she won't start it. And she's constantly looking around for danger, keeping her eyes peeled. Cool. So, uh, on the uh, on the third day of our journey here, we're gonna run into a little bit of a little bit of trouble. Oh. Uh. This is where our horses die. Yep. Or run away. You guys are going to throw me the wolves literally because I was the one suggesting capture one. <laughs> so, uh, we're walking. Wait, let me save it before you change everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait. What? Oh, oh, no, no, no. I'm not reloading. That only happens when the actual game refreshes, not when he changes maps. Have yeah. you guys met me? I am bad at technology. Yeah, My def- husband is fix it Felix literally because I break it, he fixes it. You, you, de- you def- yeah, you definitely want to hit that save button frequently. Say so it's a Windows 3.1 Word doc or whatever. Like, oh, that's yeah. my habit, saving uh, journals excessively. Uh, I do. I, I save stuff I'm working on like every five seconds. Like, I got two too. Control S, Control S, Control. I'm still always saving my stuff. Okay, so I want you guys to sort of uh, position yourself like sort of the way the the, the sort of order you you traveling in. You're you're on your horses right now, mm-hmm. but like what so oh. what's what's sort of your riding order? I think Gus would be. I would front. probably be in the back. I'm just kind of. I don't mind being towards the front, but I'm trying to kind of keep my distance from Gus. Yeah, I think. Yeah, uh, speaking of Gus. Uh, how does Jolene, 
like is she um does is she uneasy around all law enforcement knowing that um she's got at least one US marshal uh yeah, that too kindly too. will keep, have to uh hang her if he catches her yeah, I don't <laughs> talk a lot keep your hat for, low for, for murder <laughs> yeah i don't really cuz he cuz you know she's she's wanted by sort of the 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 federal you know the feds yeah um, Not a maybe an maybe you stay Ranger. towards the back of the pack so we don't know this other than annabelle right we don't know that jolene is does annabelle know that jolene murdered we've her father? talked about we've talked a little bit about our rough childhoods yeah, yeah so, I, so I, and i think that she, so does annabelle just know that jolene's father was abusive or does she know that jolene murdered him she would, she would know that i killed him yes okay so yeah but it would just be jolene and annabelle who were privy to that information um, okay but uh yeah i was just wondering if jolene is like is she the type of person who's like nervous like i know this guy's just an oklahoma oh, ranger nervous. what if he there's... realizes i'm who i am but there's... you know it's not like it's not like there's some big federal database for him to look at the mm-hmm. U.S. Marshals most wanted list. It wouldn't, um, wouldn't be nerves, and you wouldn't be on being, that anyways. Just just being, being aware, aware and ready to to kill him, him if I have to. Okay. I'll, I'll shoot Gus. Gus. All right. If he if he were to like <laughs> say, "Oh, hey, you're wanted. Are you that this Jolene that's on this flyer or whatever?" I would just kill him. Hey, I heard about that red. I heard about that red-handled gun. <laughs> yeah, I'd kill him. Um, no, he didn't say that, okay? Don't shoot this poor old man. I know, I'm just man. saying, she would kill him. <laughs> all right. If it comes down to it. So you guys are you guys are all on your horses, and uh, I need you all to make me a notice mm-hmm. roll. What well, do we need to do? I said, uh, I said, I need you all to make me a, uh, a notice roll. Um, notice, notice is... <laughs> Notice is no, notice is one of your skills. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thankfully, it stores the rolls on the card, so it's not creating sure. that many I, cards. I got a double check mark. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so Nita, um, so what that what that result uh is is a is a success with a raise, because you got a ten, and the the <laughs> test number here is four, um. Uh, so you got, you got four, which is a success. And then you got another four, eight, which is a raise. And then, you know, you got a 10. So you got, you got one raise. So it's success with a raise. So it's like an extra success. Uh, Jolene succeeded. Annabelle succeeded. Jack failed. And Beans succeeded. I think this actually, this actually should be a, bum, 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 an opposed role actually, as opposed to, uh, um, Oh, I gotta roll a d6. I don't know how to add a wild die here. I'm doing this as a group roll. Um. Oh, very good. Oh. Look at you. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right. But can you roll two ones? <laughs> so that's. Uh, <laughs> All right, so and that then... so that is a that is a fourteen, which uh, is the number you're actually going against. So that that is a oh. failure. So so you all do not notice. Crap. What's you all don't know notice what's coming for you until they're quite a bit closer than if you had rolled uh, higher. And what happens is, um, what, happen what, ha- what happens here is uh. There's tall grass along the sides of the Chisholm Trail. And uh, later than you would have liked, you notice... Um, later later than you would have liked, you notice uh, some uh, fist-sized red insects bursting out from the grass uh, along the trail. And uh, there's a bunch of them. Oh. I need to. Holy crap, that's a lot. 
All right, so is you... this a pack? <laughs> Sweet, I don't see any. I don't um, see anything. Wait a minute. Uh, zoom out. If you scroll your mouse oh. scroll out a little bit. <laughs> okay. They um. They look like fleas. <laughs> they do. <Yeah. laughs> they they uh. They look like a big old fist-sized tick. And uh, so I need everyone to draw an initiative card. And the way you do that is you go to this fist icon, the combat tracker. Uh, and then there will be a hand of cards next to your character's portrait. And if you click that, you will uh, draw an initiative card. It says I lack permission to update yeah, combat. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. For real? Yeah. Leia. Yeah. Because I have drawn an ace of spades and a seven of clubs. So you what? Can't use I have. You've been denied. <laughs> what? So you did draw something? I, well, it's, it's, I have the draw, but then when I click OK, it says yeah. I lack permission to update combat. Mine didn't even get that far. I just clicked. Same. It won't let me do anything to it. Yeah. So Let's pick a card. We um, found shit. <laughs> so what did what did you um what did you say you drew? I drew an ace of spades. Yeah, I got a ten of hearts and it says user lacks permission. Yeah. Oh, I do see it now. I have oh, an eight yeah. of spades. It came up to the side. Ooh, uh, yeah, Jack, I think you I... only got a four of diamonds. I, got. I don't know if my hesitant worked though. It, it it should automatically, but uh. Okay. Um. But Jack's character doesn't show his ace; it only shows the four diamonds on his side. Yeah, I see the um. So the ace of spades was already drawn by one of the other one of the NPCs, so you can't have that card. Oh. That's what he drew. Shafted. Um, it drew two cards. It drew an ace of spades and a seven of clubs. Um, and now it says four diamonds for yeah. you. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think. Uh, you said ace of spades and seven of what? Seven of clubs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both both of those are were already taken. Um, huh. Let me let me try something. Let me scrap this. I'm let you guys roll first and see if that changes anything. Like, let me like. All right, you guys try yeah. drawing first and let me see if that does something. Lacks permission I to update still, combat. It says user E Ramirez lacks permission to update combat. Do it again. Do pick your cards again. <gasps> oh, the second time, time it worked. Oh, yeah. I was just saying. Well, you know, then when I click OK, it gives me the last yeah, permission to update again. But it lets you oh. pick your cards. That doesn't make any sense. Oh. Uh, which one do I want? Higher one. They're both the same. I got a seven of spades and a seven of hearts. But which it doesn't matter. Better. You didn't get nothing. Need to draw again. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. What? Can I draw again? Are you guys, are you guys I mean, saying it? Are you guys saying it's drawing two cards for you? Yeah. 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 So it says old card and my seven of hearts. Yeah. And then yeah. it also gave me a seven of the spades. The left one has a star over it, and the right one says the card, and then it says old card in parentheses. And if you say yeah. draw card, it draws another card for you with a star above it. I don't. So I don't know why that old card is there, is what I'm wondering about. Because you can spend a Benny to draw a new initiative card. So I'm guessing that's the point of that. But. I don't. It doesn't I, matter. <laughs> um, I'm just. Oh, I, let's pick I'm, I'm just gonna draw the initiatives for you because uh, I, I don't know why that is uh, acting up. Okay. Should it show that I drew two cards though, and then pick the worst one, or is it just doing it automatically? Yeah, it just um, it uh, it does it automatically. I tested it. Okay. Okay. So the, the initiative here is um, it can be weird because it uh, 
Ooh, Jolene is first. It goes Ew. through the it goes through the whole deck. Um she is for now. I gotta draw cards for all these uh <gasps> these other dudes. Oh, that's loud. Ow. Really? <laughs> Turn your interface volume down and global volume. There was that music note. Yeah. Uh, global volume controls just turn the interface down. That's a, that's okay. A, that's the top of the round bell ring. <laughs> God, that, that scared the crap out of me. There we go. There's this track so, called so the tick's Rascals, first. Varmints, and Critters. Game Master was given a new Benny. What? Oh, that's not fair. He drew a joker. Yeah, I drew a joker. Um, That's some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, also, I also get to... I'm supposed to start with one for each of you, and then... So five. But then because Erica took the cursed hindrance, yeah, I, I, yeah, start, yeah. I start with another, so that six. Thanks, Erica. Oh, all right. To our, to our horses Last time I played with you, you tried to fuck the party, too. Do our horses get initiative? <laughs> no, because they're they're not war horses. They they're not they wouldn't fight. But I don't jealous. think my so horse if I might... show attention to another character or creature. to the tick. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I think it's more. I think the horses are more scared of these ticks than they are uh, affected otherwise by their uh, hindrances or whatever. If that makes sense. Are the prairie ticks all acting together? Because I only see one initiative for them. Or that is that that's, that's I, setting. I you just haven't. I think you just haven't seen. Okay. The other ones yet. Red Jay goes first. What are you talking about? Red, red Jay's the Joker. Yeah, that's a that's a red Joker. Uh, don't like it's the pack things. leader. We should capture it. So these pack. these things are these... <laughs> <laughs> smoking that shit. <laughs> so these these things... I haven't smoked anything. I can't say what this is, but I haven't smoked anything today. These, so these these things are just bearing down on you, uh, fist sized ticks, just skittering across the ground. Like running, it. running down at you. Does anybody I'm... have a machine gun? I'm protected <laughs> by next guard, so I'm good. That's why you take prevention. <laughs> so, they 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 are not flying. They're 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 ground critters, right? Yeah, they're on they're on the ground. Okay. This one skitters right on up to old Jack. Hmm. Oh Jesus! Oh no! Okay. What? All right. Your cigar smell drew him to you. So it's going to uh. Wait a minute! What? Oh geez, I forgot about the scale rules. What? Yeah. So what? the the <laughs> the difference in size between creatures makes you easier or harder to hit. So these things are very small, which makes you all very easy for them to hit. Cool. Oh. So, uh, so I, I rolled a I rolled a four on that die, and it became a ten because the uh, scale difference is six. That um, sucks. So uh, just one more entry in the journal of Josh trying to kill me. I agree. <laughs> You're gonna get Lyme disease, Josh, and, Jack, and Jack's gonna die on the trail from Lyme disease. So um. So, th these, so these 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 guys have a special ability called hooks. No. And no. what that means is a raise a raise on a fighting roll means the tick yanks its victim's lip down with its two front hooks and crawls Ew. into his throat. Oh. Oh, so it's it actually oh. I'm done with this game. Oh. <laughs> well then. <laughs> uh, Would that include the horses? Does it attack the horses too, or just the people? Uh. It is because you think our horses would be the the target first. Primary target, think. yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, you guys are still on your horses because you haven't acted. We're still. Can our horses stomp on these little? <laughs> um. Yeah, I think this prairie tick climbs in. Uh. Um. Folds. Damn it, I shouldn't have said something now. <laughs> down folds throat. <laughs> this is how the horses die. I called it. <laughs> you, you did, did. call it. <laughs> 
This is why we can't have nice things. Oh, God. <laughs> we should have bought the El Cheapo horses. We wouldn't have been out of money. We, yeah. Oh, yeah. The rest I of did. us bought El Cheapos. <laughs> <laughs> we knew we were going to die in the first round. So, uh. Okay. So. Okay. So your, your horse. Your your horse takes two uh two damage, but uh which is not nearly close enough to pass his toughness. So uh Fold is not shaken, but he does have a kick down his throat. Jack does? <laughs> no can he his horse. It? Does can he eat the tick or does it go onto the inside of the mouth? Well, you'll you'll learn all about what that means in, in due time. Jo the horse has the tick in his mouth. Yes. Hey jo hey Jolene. Because it would attack the, the horse first. So mm. it's Jack. Jack yeah, you guys are you guys are still on your horses. Um, so yeah, it, it makes sense that it would go after the horse. It would attack the horse first. Um, okay. Climbed right up, folds body into his. So that, so that one hooked, closest hooked his mouth up and climbed right on it. That one, that one closest. You can't see. The, okay, you can't. I was gonna say you can't see the one now that I had climbing his mouth. I made it hidden. Um, so okay. So. Um. Yeah. So remember, remember the uh, the deal here is. You can move up to your pace for free, so you can move six up to six inches, which is about twelve yards, uh, for free if you want. Um, and you can take one action without any penalty, like shoot at one of these guys. But if you want to shoot like two times, then both of your shots would take a minus two. If you want to shoot three times, both all three of your shots would take a minus four. Um, do we have to draw our weapons or you have to um, like take an action to draw you, our weapons? You, you, you get like a free free action to draw your weapon. If so, like, you know, Bean, Beans can draw her pistol for free. I don't have a yeah. pistol. Uh, you have your hatchet, don't you? Yeah, you, your hatchets. Okay, what so... the hell am I killing with that? <laughs> My horse. I'm, uh... You're going to throw it at one of them. I'm really focused on the one that I've got targeted here that I see because I know it's coming for me or Gus and I'm not having it so I just pull my gun out and you, I'm holding red um, so just just F, just FYI you can uh, you can ready up to two items per turn as a free action uh, readying could be drawing holstering uh, or otherwise moving an item into or out of an easy to reach location so you basically get like up to two sort of stows or draws or whatever per turn freely okay so you draw red and then what and i want to hey what the, what the heck are you doing don't don't move beans okay so i'm not moving <laughs> you got you got i'm typing you okay, can't so... you just got moved one square over and also I have to take... spun around uh-huh if i want to shoot two i gotta take a negative you take a minus if you if you do two actions you take a minus two penalty on both of those actions and I, I'll warn you, these guys are small, very small compared to you. So like, it's already going to be hard to shoot them. So you may want to, you may not want to, you may want to just try one shot and go from so there. The one I have targeted, I want to try to shoot it. So I'm going to go down here. I've got it targeted. I'm going to go to shooting, right? Um. Yes. Now, now I am going to, I am going to tell you, if you stay on top of your horse, like you're going to take a penalty to the shot. Because the horse is not like just sitting perfectly still for you. Oh well, no then. I'm hopping off. You can you can dismount. Uh, just you dismount. Get, dismounting yeah. just costs you an in. Uh, I'm just gonna say it costs you an inch of your uh, pace. Like just hop down. Okay. No no action spent. There you go. Shooting. And then I'm gonna okay. hit. No, hold on. So we're we're not doing a multi attack, right? No. Uh. It's it's like middle of the day, so there's no illumination penalty. Uh, I have your um, trademark weapon set up, so you get a plus one on the roll. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. so you, you have it targeted, and yep, you're just going to press roll. And you're going to roll a d12 plus the wild die, which is a six. Okay. So, uh, okay. Maybe, you know what? I thought... I thought the I thought the size penalty worked the other way too, but it's not. It didn't penalize you uh, for size. Okay. Um, maybe it only for works. For shooting mosquitoes. Or may or maybe it doesn't uh, apply on 
shooting. Maybe it only applies on like melee attacks or something. I know the book specifically says like a dragon that's really mega big has a hard time like swatting a human sized character or whatever because the size difference. Where no, is, is she shooting just a bullet or is this like buckshot? No, no, yeah, she has, she has a revolver, oh, so it's just shooting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so um, so you got you hit with a raise. Um, okay. How do I do my damage though? Oh, you did you you did the wrong thing. You you did your shooting skill. You didn't do um, you didn't well, actually, you didn't gun. actually shoot your gun. So um. Here you go. I'm going to do something. Oh, shit. For you. I didn't mean to do that. It's my bad. What do you do? Favorite things to get them in the quick access? Yeah. Is that how that works? Okay. I just want to see how big my cone is for this. Do you, do you see how I put, uh, do you, do you see how I put your, um, your gun and your quick access now? Yeah. I favorited it by hitting the star. So, so you are doing a shooting roll, but you have to do it with the weapon. So like, just oh. click, click, um, like where the name red or the little, Probably the little chat thing. There you go. So, you, I don't need you to, or I, actually, I do. I do need you to roll again, uh, because that's probably why I didn't do the size thing right. Because you didn't actually target it with an attack. Just roll. Yes. Even better. And then. Okay. Damage. No, no, it still no. didn't. It still. Yeah, maybe, maybe ranged, maybe shooting attacks don't have the scale penalty. I guess it could I guess it could maybe make sense. Maybe it's only melee stuff. I don't know. Whatever. We're gonna roll with it. So you got because you got a ten and the test number here was four on a ranged attack. Uh, you got a hit with a raise. Okay. Now, no matter how many raises you get on an attack roll like this, the first one adds plus one d six damage, but like additional ones don't add more damage. So uh, no matter like no matter how many raises you get on a shooting roll. Um, it's just going to add an extra D6 from the first raise. But since you did get a raise, you do get to add that 1D6. So do you see where it says damage? The the base dice is just your damage, and then the one with the plus is raise damage. So go ahead and hit that plus D6 there. And it will roll... Um, it will roll 2D6 for your gun, plus 1D6 for the raise damage, plus 1. Uh, so you deal 14 damage... Which, as you can see, there is enough to deal three wounds. I will apply. Tick. I will apply that. Um, and this, this is, this is obviously like you um, know we're obviously we're new to this system, but um, this is where the sort of fast furious part of Savage Worlds come in because extras they cannot take wounds. Like they can be shaken, but as soon as they take a wound, they're out. Like, so you just you shoot that tick and just uh. Just the bullet just blows its little body apart. Um, and then next next turn. I, I end turn. I can. Am I done? Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, Gus says. I, that. I, say, I say that's how it's done, and I just keep. Got uh, a lot more to shoot. Gus says uh. <laughs> Oh, God's damn prairie ticks! And he's uh he's going to uh draw he's gonna draw a, a Colt Frontier pistol, try to shoot this closest tick, and then he's gonna sort of like wheel his horse back and move away a little bit. Um, so he is going to take an unstable platform penalty because he's still on his horse. Yep, the house got loaded. What the heck? Alzheimer's. <laughs> What'd you say? He just had his gun loaded. There's not enough ammo. He's got Alzheimer's. He's riding around with a load weapon. So the scale so the scale penalty applied on his attack. I'm so confused. Is it because he's on a disadvantage of the horse? Unstable ground? No. Does she have something, some ability that ignores scale? I don't think so. Um, but anyways, he uh, he wheels his horse back here, and then he ends his turn. Does he hit, or does he... He missed. No, no, oh, he, he, missed. he missed very badly. Yeah, he fires his pistol, and it goes wide. Um, Okay. 
So uh, another one of these ticks kind of charges forward here. And another one. And then beans is up sitting atop uh, pork. <laughs> what, what does what does beans do beans dismounts from pork and i'm gonna try stomping them with my boots Ooh. Cool. can i do that is that is that part of my actions or do i have to use my fist um that that would be uh like an unarmed fighting role like so instead of instead of using instead of using your like hatchets um or your tomahawks you are um uh you would be like you would be like you you would be rolling fighting to like stomp on them but it would be um your 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 character is not like a brawler or a martial artist so you're not you would do your strength worth of damage of like D6, but you wouldn't do nearly as much damage as you would with your tomahawks because your character is not built to fight with their feet and fists. Okay, fair enough. Um, so I would assume that um, if she can hit one with a bullet, I guess I can hit one with my tomahawk. Uh, so I will draw my tomahawk and attempt to hit... The one charging. Okay. So, I don't know how uh, far that is. So uh from me. So uh we have um one oh six. Um so the the grid the uh the grid each square each uh each square of the grid is one What the hell just happened? Oh my god, my thing went crazy. Uh the grid is one inch per square. Uh and you have Six pace. Uh, it takes one to dismount the horse, so you can move five more squares after that. Uh, uh, now, if you need to go further, that's when you use your um, your running die. Uh, but you don't you don't want to do that because it does give you a penalty on uh, everything. Okay. So... And you don't and you don't need to use it. So you you have enough you have enough movement with no penalty to like dismount your horse and move up to like. One of these. Oh no, I pinged again. Uh oh. This is why we can't have nice things. I don't I don't understand. The El Cheapo system. <laughs> so if I dismount and I go and I go here because I'm two fisted, would I be able to take a shot at both of those? Yeah, you're uh you're two That's fisted. That's a good question. Yeah, no no your two your two fisted thing means you can spend two actions attacking with both weapons. You can attack two different targets, uh, right. and you do not take a penalty. Okay. So... Go kill him. And you have ambidextrous, yeah. so you don't take the offhand penalty either. So straight up, no penalty. Good. Um, so can I move here and attempt to hit these two? Yeah, because you have six pace, which means you can move six inches for free. You spent one to get down. Damn it. Did it again. And then one, two, three, four to move forward. So you, <laughs> okay. you, you're good. And then so now what you're gonna do? Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna target the first one you want to attack. And to do that, you just mouse over it and press the T, T key. Okay. So you have it targeted now. Um, yep. And then you're going to go in your sheet. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to favorite your tomahawks. So if you look on your front page of your character sheet under the quick access, your tomahawk is there now. Yep. You see that? Uh, yep. If you click the little chat symbol next to it, it's going to spit out this thing. Uh, and you are not you're not throwing the tomahawk. Uh, we do not apply a multi-action penalty. Um, uh, you're not doing a called shot, none of that. So so all you do is just uh, uh, press roll. Which one would be that? The oh uh, on the in the chat card. You spit the chat card out. Now you got to look over at the chat, and there's a roll button. Chat. Okay. Right hands, Ready? where all the rolls are coming up. Yep. Ready? Mm -hmm. We're ready. Oh. Are you ready? Not enough ammo. What does that mean? <laughs> Things you're trying to throw it. 
I because you rolled the athletics. The athletics is to throw. Fighting is to I just pack, rolled. right? Wait. Um, I click the chat. Yeah, there, hold on a second. Yeah, ignore ignore that because we got to do something here. Um, ignore it. I got a good roll, so I'm probably gonna get crappy when they. Oh, you didn't get a good roll. You missed. Oh, I, it looked like I rolled an eight. You see how it has that little Midas sign? Yes, I see it. Yeah. Yeah, if you, you don't add them yeah, together, you had a five and a three. You don't add them together. You're going for the higher of the two. Oh, so it was five right. though, right? Well, if you if you expand where it says rolls, if you expand that, you'll see a minus six for scale because you're trying to hit a little tiny fist sized target. Mm -hmm. Um. So um. Hold on a second. I think you might have uh. I, I mucked it up. I know. That's not thing new. No um. Uh, for some reason, um, I, I'm I'm trying to figure out if I'm doing something crazy here because if I'm <clears throat> insane, because the tomahawk is like it's set up to roll um, athletics and it thinks it's like being thrown, but when I but when you look in the Deadlands book, the tomahawk is a, a melee weapon not even it, it doesn't even have anything it doesn't even say suggest that it can be thrown which it, there is a thing in there then that i was looking at it, it you can't throw that it can't throw it it, it says be... range three six twelve yeah is there a checkbox on the tomahawk maybe like in the settings on it that's what i was trying to look for and i don't see one like but the the three oh, six shit. I didn't do that. the three six twelve on the tomahawk that's that's in this system it's not it's not i, I don't see that in the deadlands book um is in that other book? No. Uh... So. Put a tomahawk on my sheet. So I'm gonna I was going to test something real quick. Hmm. Oh, you know what I? You know what I think? I, you know what I think I know what happened. Maybe There's an I... item action where you can trigger throw. Yeah, but I. It's not even on by default though. Like. You know what I mean? Yeah. If it's not on, then it should not should it not be rolling. Um... Maybe try turning it on. Maybe they've got the the label wrong or something. Too easy. Um. <sighs> Maybe. Let's try. If I do this, okay, if I turn on throw, turn throw. <laughs> the thing that sucks now, is the thing that sucks is it's hard to tell if it's doing it right and rolling the right thing because uh, well, it'd be rolling fighting if it was a melee and athletics if we rolled a throw. Right? right, and she has a D8 in both. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Now the ranged weapon, as it says that, um, can be used for three six twelve. Does that is is that distance? Is that That's what that squares. Means for three squares, six squares, twelve squares. Okay. For the range, various ranges, short, medium, and long range. Okay. I didn't know if that's how it was with the. Yeah, it's how it works with guns and stuff too. Okay, so short. I am wondering why there's like is defaulting the throne and there's no option to make it melee. It's weird. Yeah, the, here's the thing. Uh, yeah, that item. Uh, that item action. That item action for uh, for throwing should be handling it. I think. Trust is me. it because we picked it as that and not an other ranged weapon? Is that why it's not? We picked it as a melee. Yeah, it's still rolling athletics. Um, I think I just have to uh, do something. It's busted. Quantity to source. What the fuck? 
main hand, range, AP. On properties. You just making a custom weapon for it? No, I'm just changing the tomahawk she has in her inventory to be fighting skill. Mm -hmm. um, no range. I, I I actually think just changing the. I actually think just changing the trait on it to fighting and then leaving the action there for changing it to athletics might actually fix the thing. It might just specifically need that base thing. Okay, so there, there it's doing fighting. I don't have throw checked. Still have subtract ammo checked by default. I'm going to see how that works. Yeah, it still spent the ammo, even though I didn't. It says fighting. It now it says fighting D8. So yeah, because that... it's ruined the right roll, but it's still subtracting ammo when it shouldn't. Yeah. See, and then if we uh, do this, I don't. I don't. I don't actually know for sure. Let me. Let me try something. Well, can I use your roll? Because that was. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try something. Uh, tech, or no. Item actions. I'm going to tell it to throw this time and see if it rolls athletics. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's working now. Because when I tell it throw, it rolled a D10, which is what I temporarily changed your athletics to. Okay. So this is what, this is what we got to do. Um, do, 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 do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to uncheck subtract ammo. And then it'll, and then it will roll like we want. Um, actually, I'm just going to. Let me see if this. I just told it not to. I just told it it doesn't cost any ammo. What? <laughs> Me. Okay, well, that didn't work. Okay, I think I... What if you uncheck the box that says doesn't need reload action? Or check the box, I mean, not uncheck. Don't that, you do that if you're if you're if it's if it's going as D eight for fighting, would you? Because it says it covers all hand to hand melee attacks, whether it's with fist axes. You know, it shouldn't hand. it shouldn't be using. No, no, it's, it's it's doing something it's not supposed to do. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change it to where it just doesn't even have the option to spend ammo, because otherwise you're gonna have to uncheck that subtract ammo every time, and that's dumb as hell and we're not doing that uh i'll figure out a better solution later but i think like okay now now i have it where i want it which is it's just going to roll fighting by default and if you ever actually do decide to throw it you can check throw and it will roll athletics instead of fighting and, and then we'll just we'll track them uh, ammo part of it manually um but okay uh, but so so for now you got that guy targeted go ahead and go ahead and roll the attack again uh because like now that I got it rolling the right skill and stuff from so the just from hit... the chat where it says roll. Okay, hang on. <clears throat> over here. Yep, got it. What was in it? Okay, so just do the just click tomahawk the button that... again. No, just click the button that says roll in the chat. Oh, I can't. Hang on. Roll. Public roll. Um, are you trying to click the roll button that's in the chat? Hang on. I don't not, see it. You might not, not see it since... Right. Hang on. Because there's a... Okay, hang on. All right. I'm clicking it, but nothing's happening. 
Oh, maybe it's because I created that card. Go ahead, just spit the tomahawk back out from your sheet and then click it. Lacks permission to create a new chat. What? All right, let me see. All right, I can't. I'm trying to. What are you clicking? Well, it mod it, it modifier for better rolls. That's not it, right? So when I try to go the. No, I'm just I I'm just asking. That... What are you clicking? Am I clicking that little circle by the tomahawk thing? The the oh, little okay. chat button. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's all gone. Mine's all yeah, gone. I deleted the chat. Oh. Okay. Because there's just a bunch of bullshit in it. <laughs> okay, so nothing's in the chat. So I click. Go oh, your character sheet. Yes. That where it says favorite items or whatever. Quick items. You should just click the little chat bubble where your top lock is. Okay. Spit the card over to the chat. And then yeah. you hit the roll button from there. Yeah, okay, you, you, yeah, you did it. You did it shit. twice, but uh, okay. But yeah, well, uh, then you just uh, click that roll okay. button. And you missed again. And you uh, <laughs> you missed horribly, but you do have four bennies if you want to re-roll it with a benny. Yeah, how do I do that? Where's my? Uh, there's a button that says re-roll with benny, and it, it just looks like a little circle. It's next. It, it's it's on the card where the results are. It says rolls. And then there's a little button. It's right next to the one that's like a little arrow thing. It's right next to that one. I don't see it. Oh. God, that's Ew. even worse, Josh. <laughs> 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 that's her second, second crit fail. So you, get, so, you get, so you get to take the better of those two, which was minus four. <laughs> All right, oh but you get to you get to make another attack. <clears throat> Uh, you get to make, you do get to make another, wait a minute, did you? I'm just going to take my damn pork and I don't think, I, I don't think you use, I, I don't, I don't think you hit the right button. Did you hit, oh, shit. Did, did you hit the free reroll button? I hit that little free reroll on the. That's not what you're supposed to hit. You don't, you don't, oh, it, that, the little arrow one is for free rerolls. Benny, spinning Benny's is not free. There's a, there's a button that it says reroll with Benny when you mouse over it. It's right next to that button. But, oh, wow. so use that one next time because uh, it um, will spin the bitty like it's supposed to. Um, so I can't re-roll this? Is that what you're saying? You could, you, uh, you could spin a bitty and just keep re-rolling it, but you could also just make your other attack. Remember, remember okay. you're, you're trying to attack with both tomahawks? So you attacked with one and you uh, you missed wildly. Uh, so now you're going to attack with the other one. Okay. So, so how? You just, do, you so just, I just target just gonna, the other one. Well, unless you want to make the second attack against the same one that you just missed, you just target whatever you want to hit with it. It can be either one. I'm sure ideally you wanted to like kill this guy, kill this other guy, but didn't go that way. Um, so just target the one you want to make your second attack against, and then just. Spit the tomahawk out back again, and then just you're just gonna basically repeat what you just did. Let me do it. What the? I can't. How can I untarget that? Mouse over it and press T again, or mouse over the new target and press T. Okay, let me try this, and then do it again. Yeah, you're just gonna. Yeah, you're just gonna do it again like that, and you're just gonna. Uh... Let's see if I can bid any better. Ready? <laughs> you, want sp you want to spend another Benny? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so we only we only have twelve minutes left in this session, and Bennies are like a use them or lose them thing. You get new ones at the start of each session, so you got three more. Yeah, use let's them. use it. So, so this time you're gonna click the reroll with Benny button. Uh, there you go, and then it spent to Benny. <laughs> That damn one. You didn't get a negative result this time, but the scale difference on these guys did make you miss. I hate this game. I have complaining <laughs> on yourself on your turn. Hmm? It's a complaint on yourself on your turn. I stay awake. Uh, now I'm getting two <laughs> damn ticks in my mouth. I'm going to no, jump not. off the horse. Okay. Uh, move. 
think it was here that I wanted to move. And whip out a handful of cards for the burst. So, so anyone who has a keen eye will see cards I'm manifest. Failing. Cards manifest in Jack's hand. And so we figured out how we had to do this to to up to upgrade it, right? Because I want to upgrade it for more damage. Um. Okay, so um, shit didn't do that. Okay, so uh, so the way the way I set this up is like if you want to use the um if you want to use the uh armor um piercing mod, I have that set up, and then I have the power points spent. So I don't see an armor piercing mod. It's under power mods. No, on my power, it just says modifier plus two. Yeah, the armor versus... pierc the armor piercing mod is one of the all-purpose power modifiers. You're, you're not uh, okay. you're not you're not limited to the ones that are listed on those powers. Those are specific to the power, but you can also do armor piercing, gotcha. selective, so you don't kill your allies, increase the gotcha. range, do lingering damage. Um. So. Uh, so your so basically, I want I want to spend two additional power points to, to modify the damage. All right. Well, hold on a second. Uh... So you're talking four at one time. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Uh, three d six. I think. Uh, so it does three d six, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I I added an action in for it in the in the burst power. So just just put a new card out and it'll be there. Okay. It's your a, it's on the item actions. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll do this in a fancier way before next time, where it'll show up under power mods. But for now, that's how I have to do it. I'm gonna Benny that. Uh, why do you roll damage? I don't know. Uh, I've hit the wrong button. Obviously, we roll with Benny. <laughs> Nope, fuck you. I'm rerolling Benny. <laughs> what, Benny's what my boy. Jack with this 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 one in the. the... All right, there we got a success. <laughs> Do you want to just use that damage? You, that I, did you I didn't raise damage. Yeah, you. So, you um, I need to do this for damage. There we go. So, okay. Did you? You did not check the power points to like. Tell it to spend four power points. You like when you oh, I'll take it off manually. There we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. When you, when you see, do you see on the card where it says power points and you can drop it down and there's like one through twelve? Mm -hmm. That's that's an override. So if you know you're going to okay. spend, if you know you're doing that mod and it's going to cost four, you just click that four and it'll take four away. Gotcha. Just a heads up. So okay, so you rolled eleven. So damage. eleven damage. Um, let's let's one wound on each of them. That is a fact, and I will. Oh. So where's his default with thirteen? That was his first attack, and then the that that was when I rolled the wrong damage. Okay. So you only you... do eleven damage, but that hits all four. Mm -hmm. For... Okay. So, so you had one of these targeted for the damage, right? I don't have any of them targeted. I figured because it was a the range AOE, range. I wasn't supposed to target them. Um. Uh, oh, interesting. Oh, look at that. I I guess because you had them in your cone. Yeah. It says Prairie Tick Adult, so it actually compared it to it actually did compare the damage to their toughness see what i mean mm -hmm. not on the first one that you misclicked but on the actual right one right well wait a minute so you didn't have them targeted when you did that he had no. every, all four in a cone though yeah i know they're in the cone but i'm wondering why the first no i never targeted any of them i'm just wondering why the first one didn't link it to them or or maybe it's maybe it's because i expanded it and did the get toughness from target or selected token Maybe I, maybe I did that by clicking that. Um, so anyways, 
11 damage uh, is... Uh, Two, it, it, it's two wounds on them because um, they only have two toughness um, so it's actually you know it's two raises so they're shaken plus they take two wounds and as I mentioned they're extras so uh, they cannot take any wounds um, and uh, trying to oh, that didn't trying to get them all at once but it's not working anyways so they they, they all those all die so uh mm -hmm. i'm gonna see your refresh call see one is being dead yeah, oh, i see the first one die it's got a little well no it, 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 it's not um the better rolls thing is not applying it to all of them is the thing um I got. I'm. I'm now marking some of them defeated. Uh, all right. Delete that um uh template if you would. Now um, yeah. So what's what's his burst? What does his burst power look like? Yeah. So he just like fans out a bunch of cards in his hand and just kind of gambits them. Just throws up like a, a fan of energy. Uh, you know, energetic cards. So it just kind of probably slices into pieces. These force driven cards. So you were like Gambit from the X-Men when you threw your cards? More or less, yeah. Okay. So I just that, want to visualize the action in my head. So the rest of your characters, uh, you know, just <laughs> just learned something about Jack, which is that he is capable of blasting He's dudes Gambit with arcane power. Um, I like it. Interesting. Get off my horse, Cher. <laughs> in interesting how that, how uh, you all might see that differently, right? Because Annabelle taps into arcane magic too but through mad scientist devices and Nita's uh tapping into the spirit world for the shaman stuff all right so uh it's annabelle's turn what will you do you're muted oh uh, yeah you're muted okay uh let me try that again if i use one of my powers while i'm on my horse do i take that shot penalty like custard. Um, yeah, I think it, I think it would take an unstable platform. Okay. Penalty. Okay, then I will jump off my horse, and sort of cozy up. <laughs> oh, wrong button. Uh, okay. Next to Jolene's horse up here, um, and then. I'm assuming I did that right with the target selection. Yeah. Yeah, you okay. have this you have this first tick targeted. Yes, one. the one right above beans. Mm hmm Yeah, and... you can see your little Yeah, everyone character. else can see your token on there. Yeah, your little character like, next you, to you it. should see like a targeting reticle. The crosshair. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So basically what you all see is I sort of reach down to my belt and I grab this thing off of it that sort of looks like a it sort of looks like a leather bracelet, like a, a fat leather bracelet. But what happens is I slap it onto my wrist and it's got magnets on it on the end. So it like goes right there and there's a little box on the top of it that has some like wires and stuff coming off of it. And there's a little nozzle on the front. And so um, this is, what did I call that? Um, this is Anna's Flaming Hot Bolt Launcher. <laughs> And so I sort of like brace my wrist and sort of take aim at that one uh, ugly tick. And um, <laughs> let's see. Am I so, so what do I need to do here? Do I need to do anything? I guess if I want to do power mods or anything. OK, but I so don't think I do. I was going to say like, here, I'm going to. I'm going to add a new action so that when you are going to do the uh, the 3d6 one that costs two extra, you know, where it adds a d6 damage for two extra power points, mm -hmm. um, it, it'll be on the card. But if you're not going to do it this time, then uh, you don't need to spend <laughs> a new card. It's out. just a straight roll. Um, yes, and it, yeah, you you only need to use like the power points buttons I added on there and stuff if you're if you need to override the cost. It'll do the base okay. cost properly. Okay, so. I take aim and I shoot and I fail 
So I will uh, re-roll that with <laughs> with a Benny. Oh yeah! Ooh. Oh explosion! Yeah. Ooh, hit with a race. Right, nice. <laughs> so um, what you see is this like basically a little flaming dart almost sort of shoots out of the end of the nozzle and just shoots right through the the um, the prairie tick. Yeah. And there's this like a little flaming crater right behind it where it went through it. <laughs> so so you're definitely going to kill this, but technically you have to roll damage first because if it had enough toughness, you know, it, it might res not oh. it might not die. So you want to hit the Well, that's lame. You want to hit the plus you want to hit the plus button. Uh Oh. The the plus because you, you got raise raise. damage you yeah because oh. you hit, you hit with a raise so you get an extra oh. d six damage. Okay. He's dead. Um. <laughs> so, so, so uh. Close so, the ground behind it. <laughs> boom. So yeah. So what the what you described did happen. <laughs> okay. And then uh. Cool. And then there's a uh like an in turn button on the combat tracker. Oh by the uh, way. Oh by the way the combat tracker right here. Yeah. And um, if you want, there's a whole bunch of combatants, so it may take up real estate you don't want. But if you right click that combat tracker, you can like pop it out, so you can see it. Okay. The time. Cool. Um, so before I do that, I'm actually gonna slide back behind uh, Jolene. When she does that, I'm still got my gunna, and I'm watching. I say, "Add a girl." And I just smile, and then I go hide behind her again. And that's my turn. All right. So great news. This uh, tick is in range to run up to Beans, who is not on a horse. Um, oh, no. So uh, it is going. You got to make sure to kill all your ticks when you get off your horse. Don't worry, I'll be coming back as a different character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die. This is going to make a. Uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. It is going to make a fighting attack. Uh, oh no! Uh, How do these little bastards get these? But I, I we quickly fail. What's the size difference? What's this here? Has anybody else rolled a critical fail? At this point? <laughs> me. I see. Me and he did. Oh, did I have two? Okay. Yeah. Her and okay. Hey. Six parry, six toughness. This game doesn't like us, Have. I'm used to it. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> This is not a very good gaming experience for me. I could promise about eighty-five percent of all deaths in all of our Pathfinder games. So <laughs> I'm sort of dying a lot. So <laughs> so it uh attacks and kills me with Lyme you. disease. Mm -hmm. So it it hooked me. Is that is that what I'm putting in these notes? Well, first I got to roll its damage. So it, no, no, you don't. You take, so it does three damage to you, which is uh, not enough to get through your toughness. So it, it doesn't actually do any uh, physical harm to you. Yeah. Uh, but it does mm -hmm. crawl down your throat. Uh. It yanks oh. your lip down with its front hooks and uh, and crawls down your throat. Ew. Didn't you say these were fist-sized? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. All right, then. <laughs> So I got this big, like, like, lump in my throat. You got, you got tick fisted in the throat. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I don't know if I like the way you put that. But... All right. Um... Normally you pay extra for that kind of action. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna make this one hide. What? What the hell? Skip. Hey, make sure you save. Make sure you save your notes if you if you haven't. I'm clicking the crap out of that save entry button. Okay. Uh... Fist size ticks, and now it looks like I swallowed a golf ball. <laughs> golf ball would be happy. You swallowed it like a softball. Yeah. Yeah. And so is my horse. Fold is gonna live up to his name. Ugh. <laughs> Pork. You're gonna need a new owner. I can't even talk at this point, can I? I thought, uh... That sounds like I was gonna take bean source. I'll be riding fork. All right. Uh, this dude. Beans may not need that horse much longer. 
this one, run, this one runs up here. Good and thing then... I put a lot of this creativity in my character in my see... horror. <laughs> Only to die the first damn round. We see Nita, Nita. Nita act for the first time. Yeah. Medicine woman, help. I can't talk. All right. Her. Well, you're not really damaged. What can I do for? <laughs> Get this damn tick out my throat. <laughs> Why does this thing keep saying it's your turn? What would you like to do? I, that's my fault. It's because I, <laughs> I was deleting the dead guys out the thing. Oh, okay. He was really wanting you to go. Um, I was like, so, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Passive aggressive. Okay, so, yeah, really, can I help her at this point since so she hasn't taken any damage? Um, if you or want, should I just if you try want, to kill him? If you want to know what you need to do um then you'd have to make like a common knowledge or some other kind of check to see if you know you know how should i deal with the you, you gotta you gotta use deadlands version of googling what do i do if a prairie tick goes <laughs> down my throat okay Pray to your gods for answers well I, I guess i'll do that then so so since we're in the middle of an encounter, you will have to use an action to, uh, to to like try to re recall, you know, what kind of common knowledge you might have. Okay. Um, are you going to do any other actions? Because remember, you have to uh, declare them ahead of time. Okay. Well, I want to dismount from my horse, and I want to get into position to shoot one of these with my arrow on my next turn if I don't have enough actions. So left this um, turn. So dismounting is not doesn't doesn't cost you any anything, uh, just an inch of movement. Um, you're you know in range where you could shoot these things already. So does it matter that Beans and Jolene and Annabelle are in front of me? Do I need to get around them so I have a clear shot? Um, what? Not. Uh, I don't. Um. Yes, you would want to move like to where the things don't have cover from you. Okay, so I would probably move here then. Yeah. Okay. So um And then I Okay, and then I'll do my common knowledge roll. So you're not going to do any other actions this turn then? Just make that check. Um Oh, sorry. It's too late now. Um Yeah, it's fine. I didn't think I had any other actions left. Because my bow, it, I would have to take a penalty, and I don't want to shoot beans by accident. Right. You can you, So you can do up to three actions on any given turn. You just take a minus two cumulative penalty on all your actions for each extra one. So if you had said, yeah. like, if you said, I want to, like, use common knowledge and shoot my bow, you would have taken a minus two on that common knowledge and a minus two on the bow shot. So. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, it's too late now anyway, but yeah, I didn't want to it's do good that. It's good because you actually succeeded at the common knowledge because you didn't have that penalty. So, um, yes. Yeah. So it turns out, uh, you have dealt with these prairie ticks, you know, as a, as a Cheyenne and, uh, uh, here's the thing. Um, th these things want to try and, um, make you die of blood loss from the inside. So, uh, if, if you don't deal with it, Every hour, uh, every hour, um, beans and also fold are going to have to make, are going to have to roll vigor. Uh, and if they fail that, um, they're going to gain a level of fatigue. Um, so a second failure would take them from fatigue to exhausted. Uh, and then another failure after that would take them from exhausted to, um, I think dying. Um, and, uh. If they die, it means the tick has grown large enough to burst out of their rib cage in a gory explosion. Ew. So I you really have, don't want to see that. So I think I think you've I, probably, I, I think you've seen someone <laughs> die. I think you've seen someone die of that uh, in your you know back in your tribe, and you're like you barely have any memories right now, but you remember you like you remember <laughs> that you have you have seen that happen. Uh, and okay. You, it's a for you. Uh, and you know that. Um, if you want to remove a, a a prairie tick, you are going to need to pour a quart of castor oil down the victim's throat. Uh, yeah. and they will have Does to anybody have that on hand? 
they will have to make a vigor roll to uh, to get it down. And if they succeed, uh, the tick will come crawling out and can be squished. Um, and games games like this with a meta currency like a like a Benny, that's like a prime time to be like, I want to spend a Benny and like say that I you know have some castor oil on me. You still have to pay for it or whatever if it costs something. So like okay, I can do that then. I can spend the Benny and say yeah. I have castor oil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. If, okay. you, if you spend a Benny, we'll say that you uh, you you have some castor oil on you. Like you keep it. Uh, it, it makes sense that like a like a sh- an Indian shaman who has literally seen one of these things like burst out of someone's <laughs> chest like a fucking alien baby would would be like, you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this castor oil in my backpack <laughs> all the time. Um, all right, so I have it, and I'll take care of her later when we get all these little. Oh. Gosh, all right. so we get them all killed. So that's so that's the that's the end of your turn. I drew another Joker with this Prairie Tick, um, and I mean this one's right next to Bean, so you know it's, it wants to join the party. <laughs> Poor Bean ain't got no room. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it got a, it got a success with a raise, uh, which means you're gonna take over the lips to the gums. Um, Here comes the alien popping out of my chest. Ooh. Well, that was supposed to just be damage, but uh, uh I was gonna uh, say they go in there and they fight over who's gonna go in and kill each other, and I can get them out of my throat. That sounds like a ten, thing. eleven. Okay, so you take you take eleven uh damage uh as this thing goes down, which actually um that actually you have six toughness. So that that's actually enough to get a raise on you, which means it would deal a wound to you, uh, unless you want to soak it, um, which uh, you would probably want to do because we're like, you know, you only have two more bennies, but like we're towards the end of the session, right? And uh, uh, you know, taking wounds sucks. If you if you have a wound, for each wound you have, you take a minus one cumulative penalty to everything you do. So if you get wounded one, you take a minus one to everything. Wound two, minus two. Like, wounds are uh, no joke. Uh, they create a little bit of a death spiral where, like, you get them, you get worse at things, and you get also get closer to death. So so let's spin one of your bennies, and we'll, we'll do a soak roll for the first time. Now, I don't have... Um, because I had to do the damage kind of funky over here so i i don't have like a button you can click to press soak usually we'll have that but so what you need to do is roll vigor so go on your sheet um and just click where the word vigor uh and just roll that okay so i just click vigor and go to the chat yeah and then just go to the chat uh just go to the chat and roll it no i'm sorry i have sucked on my rolls so i'm dying I don't know what that means. All right, six. So you spend a Benny, you make a you make a soak roll, and uh, uh, each success uh, and raise reduces the number of uh, wounds you take by uh, by one. So you got a six, uh, which is a success. Uh, so you soak one wound. Uh, and, uh, because, because you soaked, like, technically you would be, um, shaken and take one wound, uh, because it hit you with a raise on, or like it got a raise on the damage. Uh, but if you successfully soak all the wounds from an attack, uh, it unshakes you as well. So you go from getting shaken and taking one wound to, uh, soaking that wound, not becoming shaken. So, uh, so instead of this thing, like opening up a nasty wound in your mouth as it uh as it goes down uh it does not do that because you spent the binion goes down real smooth the door, but... <laughs> but yeah it does also climb into your um uh down your throat into your uh into your belly how big is my damn throat <laughs> bigger now Jeff. I know. Ask Jeff. Ask Jeff. <laughs> you know i'm telling you guys right now you're gonna hear some kind of pun or something to this incident you talk to me <laughs> so so uh <laughs> all right so it's beans's turn though and there's uh two more of these things so here's the question does beans just go like you guys shoot these things and like walk away or does she like i'm gonna tomahawk these guys to death like because she's already got two of them down her throat now <laughs> i feel like i feel like it could go either way she could be like 
you know what? I'm not dealing with this. any more of these getting in my mouth. <laughs> or, or does she go and like be like, I'm going to cut you guys to pieces. Yeah, what does she do? She had a fine out. Um... <laughs> well, you're the one who decides, so... Uh... Vomits on the side of the road because two giant fist-sized ticks just crawl down the road. I, I know. I'm like, how would I even function with that? And yeah. and I would take a penalty because of that. Would, would I take a t penalty because that would... No, they're just in your gut, man. I mean, you're in great discomfort, but uh, <laughs> otherwise, uh, you know, no penalties. Stop Don't worry, I'm gonna get them out now. when we're done. So. Guys, it's like a, it's like hella indigestion. <laughs> so, but yeah, uh, what, are you, what are you gonna do? I, you want to try to? I would say that, yeah, I would say that I'm just so pissed off. Uh, let me go over here and be an ass and try to hit it. So. So, uh, yeah, let's, why don't you try a wild attack? That what is that? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you it, what it is, is, uh, you get a plus two to your fighting rolls, uh, but you also become vulnerable, which makes you easier for them to hit. Okay. Vulnerable to me sounds like then that would make me easier for them to crawl down my mm -hmm. head. All right. So what mm -hmm. do I do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But they're so small and everything. They're already having an easy time crawling down your throat. <laughs> So, so what you what you do is you just target the first one you want you want to target this one, sure. um, and then just send the card to the chat for your tomahawk again. But this time we're gonna choose. See where it says um, um, la 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 attack options. If you okay. expand where it says attack options, there's a button you can click that says wild oh. attacks. Click that and then hit roll. So if you click it and hit roll, yeah, it will add it in. <clears throat> oh, we got the explosion. I'll say, what the hell is that? <laughs> hey, so you hit. So you did not hit with a raise, but you did actually hit one of these despite their uh, big size penalty um, that you're taking. Because you're like, you're swinging the tomahawk like down at the ground, right? You're like trying to hit this little thing. Um, but you hit. So what you do is you roll the damage button, but not the one with the raise, because you didn't get a raise. Okay, hang on. So just, it's like, it looks like two little D6s. And it's, it says damage, and then there's two little D6s. All right, so you did eight damage to it, which is enough to uh, deal a wound, which, because it's an extra, instantly kills it. So you, uh, yeah. yeah, tell us what it looks like. You tomahawk one of these ticks to death. And you just see this this blood splat, and then we flick it off. <laughs> I don't know. I tried grabbing at my throat. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. So now, now you know. Technically, we're technically we 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 have to like declare how many actions you're going to do at the start of your turn. But because you don't take a multi attack multi action penalty for attacking twice, if you want, we can use more of your movement to like move over here, and you can try to attack this one too. Do you want to do that? Because remember, you can hit with both tomahawks. Yeah. Okay. You want to do I that? Got lucky on one. Yeah. So target yeah. this other one and try to try to see what you can do. I'm not doing that wild thing again, correct? Um, I... I think I think I actually think once you've done it, like you sort of locked in for the whole turn. I think. Um, okay. That would make sense. Um. Yeah. It's not clicked. I mean, it's got vulnerability up here under the, my quick access. I don't know what. Oh yeah, that's just because you have vulnerability on because you did wild attack. So yeah, you need to you need to expand that attack options and you need to turn on the wild attack again. Click it again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, exploding damage again. Oh, another explosion. Oh. No. Well, she about to mm. do some big. <laughs> you need to roll the hit the thing. <laughs> Oh yeah, that wow. was that was a roll to hit. So you uh so you hit with three uh you hit with three raises. Um so uh like I mentioned earlier, unfortunately, only the first raise on an attack roll um gives you extra damage. So but you do get to roll damage the plus D six one because you got raise damage. So the plus just roll just choose the plus the one that says plus and then has a D six. What it does is it adds an extra. Um, what it does is it adds an extra d6 to your damage, and also another thing wild attack does besides giving you plus two to your hits, it also adds plus two to any of your damage rolls. So um, 
So if you're willing to let other people get a plus two against you, wild attack is, is nice because you're just like going nuts on them, you know? Um, so you deal two wounds to this one. You kill this thing. And uh, we uh, we end this hell on earth that is fighting these horrible fur dicks. And uh, we got okay for me. And we got to kill four it. of them. Yeah, I mean, other than your horse, other than Jack's horse and Beans, we all um, we all need those horses. We're gonna make it. You're fine. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's let's actually real quick let's try to take care of uh, let's try to take care of the um, the the ticks. Ooh. So Nita has so in the aftermath of this uh, this this battle, um, uh, Nita, you know what needs to happen. So like, you do, do, you, do you what do you do? You just go to Beans and be like. Hey, you gotta drink this castor oil, or else these things are gonna bust out your chest. <laughs> yeah, I, I just I walk up to her, I say, "Drink this." That's all I say is, "Drink this." Okay. Does Be Does Beans just listen to this? Uh, you know, uh, indigenous uh, uh, shaman lady that you've been traveling with for a couple days. Does she just drink the castor oil? I do. Like I said, only because I think my experience with being in the saloon so long and meeting different people, I've heard different things about the power of uh, i don't know sure i would i would drink it well, you already got two giant ticks that you throw how nasty could the casper will be well i don't know what the hell it is but if it's something that get him out i yeah um okay so so what you need to do is uh make a make a vigor roll okay and um, when i added castor oil to my gear i just did one is that right or how how many should I've added? How much do you have? I mean, you got to pay for it, so. Okay, I. Um, I did. I couldn't find it in the, the thing, so I just had to add it as a miscellaneous. Oh, I see. Uh, it wasn't. Uh, oh, it yeah. wasn't in the. Oh, okay. I don't think there's an item for it. Um. I don't know how much. How much was it? Does it? The quart of castor oil costs. Hey, how much does the quart of castor oil cost in 18, 1884? 25 cents. I mean, yeah, a gallon of lantern fluid is like 10 cents. So I mean, there was there was lantern oil. I could just get that if you want. Um, No, no, it has to be castor oil. Uh, so spend a... Okay. No, no, no. Spend spend $1 and give yourself four quarts of it. Okay. Um. Okay, so uh, beans. I'm This, this, this roll comes at a minus two just as an untyped penalty. So I'm just, I'm just choosing the two actions minus two penalty on the multi-action thing, but only because it needs to have a minus two. So then I'm rolling it. Okay. So you, you succeed. So, um, beans, uh, you, you managed to keep down this castor oil, uh, and, uh, these two ticks, uh, make their way back up out of, out of your stomach, uh, oh. out your mouth and, <laughs> to the ground and then you just stomp on them and uh and uh, get rid of them and they're done they're they're kind of they're, I... they're slightly fatter than they were uh than when they went in with your with your blood that quick mm. yeah they drank they drank some of your blood in the last 30 seconds <laughs> i i tell i i am coughing and hacking but i i'm telling me to thank you thank you thank you um i just oh. I nod my head and then I go over to Jack and hand him the bottle and say, "Give this to your horse." I'm yeah, not like giving it to his horse. So, yeah. So, um, uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> so he, so uh, Fold failed to keep the castor oil down the first time. So, you got to try again. And you just try. Is that something you just try again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just used up one of those units of the castor mm. oil, right? Um, so there's two. Nita, left. could I could I borrow another one of those? Yeah, this is oil? the. I'll have one left after this. <laughs> this horse has a D8. Oh bigger, my but, gosh! Uh, I, you know, I, I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you spend a, a benny on rerolling the horses thing. <laughs> sure. All right. All right. Oh my god. Alright. I'm getting ready to put a shotgun through my horse's my whole head and pull the trigger. Okay. okay. He finally succeeded he finally succeeded, but I think I think it was like down to 
using the last of the castor oil. That was, I had two. Yeah, yeah, I have none left, so. All right. So, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, finally you get fold to keep down this castor oil and this, uh, uh, prairie tick comes out the mouth and, uh, and you, you, you know, make, make quick work of it. It's, uh, it's not. It's as, all right, boy. It's, I'm and, over uh, there just shaking my head saying, Worse. And uh, and with uh, with that, we we, we got to stop because we went over time. But uh, yeah, I uh, I do hope that uh, everyone had a good time.